Welcome, everybody, to the Too High McFly podcast, where we're talking about filmmaking and movies. And of course, Justice League opened up this week, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna talk about Justice League. We're gonna we're gonna rip that up. Talk about the good and the bad, and it's also a good opportunity to actually talk about story structure, which uh, Dan is a really good expert in. So uh, I am your host, Kevin Lyons, and with me are the Too High McFly co-founders, Daniel DeSangre. That is Daniel. That is Daniel and Anton. And Anton. So there's just one thing <laughs> it left. It sounded almost do. like Danton. Danton. Like if you combined or we were a couple in Hollywood, it'd be Danton. 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 Actually, Danton. sounds pretty cool. Okay. What, what, am, am I the third wheel? No, you, we'd be Devin. Danton and Devin. That sounds Danton weird. and Devin. All starts with a D. Yeah. But whatever. Or Devton. Devton would be the, all three of us together. You know what, Dan? It's just time to turn it on. Yeah, so Justice League opened up Thursday. Yes, very we, much. We saw it opening night, and but before we even break it down the movie, let's just give our rating. So, Dan, where are you? Where's your rating for Justice League? Seven. You're at seven. Solid seven. seven. Solid seven. And you've seen it twice already, I've right? Seen it twice already. Oh, t- wait, wait. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. We'll go no, ahead. no, no. Keep it. No, keep going. What were you no, gonna I was going to say so. For your guys' opening night Thursday, you guys, we all saw it <laughs> Thursday night, right? Yeah, we all saw it Thursday night together. The this the it wasn't sold out. No, like you still saw open spots. And there was a lot of open <laughs> seats. Yeah, th- that's a little <clears throat> telling. Yeah, for ArcLight, that if there's a lot of open seats, that there's a lot of things going on. There. Yeah, exactly. And after that, we all we we kind of we kind of fluctuate our scores a little bit because we've seen it more than once. Yeah. The, but Dan's at a solid seven. Solid seven. And Anton, where are you at? Back to a six point five. You're a six point five. Yeah. Six point five. Mm-hmm. It was a seven, then a six, <clears throat> then back to seven. Now it's a six point five. And was this all on the first viewing? <laughs> or was this this, this like, was all from him walking in the yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the first viewing was a seven. The first viewing was yeah. a seven, oh, and the then first you one saw was it. A six. Wait, and then it went down yesterday when we just, saw it again. Just, no, um, then when we started talking about it after the first viewing, mm, then it, it dropped. Went, it dropped to the six when we were at the bar. Yeah. yeah. Then we saw it the next day, early morning. Then it went up back to a seven. It went up, yeah. Then last night, while we were talking about it in the bar again, yeah. it went down to 6.5. Well, for me, like, <clears throat> after we first saw it, I mean, like, I was prepared for, like, the bad story that everybody was talking about and, like, the, the, sh- <laughs> the shitty editing. And so I was prepared for that. I'm like, I don't care. I just want to see – I want to see fun action. And while I was watching it, I was more – overwhelmed by how bad the editing was and so i gave it a, i was like a 7.5 on thursday night and then the next morning we saw it and i actually had a lot more fun watching it the second time so i kind of bumped it back that's up true. to an it eight the but the mo- like but that's just like initial feeling after leaving it but when you start breaking it down all you want to do is give it a lower number because this is their fifth movie in this franchise they should have gotten this done right there were a lo- i mean it was a lot of fun but they should have gotten this done yeah right. you really don't get a free pass and that's the big thing about you know dc it's like <clears throat> you know is the movie enjoyable for all three of us yeah it is and there's a high rewatchability factor played into this, but you don't get a free pass for the crappy CGI and everything else that we're going to get into that's wrong with it. But man, like exactly what you said, like not only the budget was too high, you also had Snyder and then you had Whedon directing this. Yeah, and then like on that. top of that, it's your fifth <clears throat> movie, man. And yeah. you guys are still having, <clears throat> how is Wonder Woman still better than this? Like that, that's a problem. No. Yeah. That's a, well, no, I mean, Wonder Woman was just, a, it was a really good movie. I yeah, like it. I like, this, I mean, I thought it was a little overhyped, but I still thought it was a good solid movie. Oh, and I lo- yeah, it was a, it was a good solid movie. I give it a solid 9.0, like Wonder Woman. Nine, I thought oh, it was yeah. great. <clears throat> to me, is that considered great? Yeah, I was like, I'm between like an eight point five and a nine for Wonder Woman because I did have some problems in it, but obviously not as many problems as we have with the other movies. Oh, you, you didn't give us your score. What was your score, Mr. Kevin? Oh no, I already said that. I said I said what? it was at a seven point five. Yeah, but then you said and that was the, the first view, and then the then... second one, I I went up to an eight, and now because I had a lot more fun, and I actually yeah. enjoyed like all the scenes that were in there. I liked them. It's just I you could tell that they were shrunk down or they were reshot and it's just like I liked a good amount of the stuff that I was seeing. It was just like the story, the way that the narrative played out was just it, it just felt sloppy. I like you didn't care about the world that they were in. Batman v Superman 
<clears throat> they focus a lot on on <clears throat> Batman's. I mean, on Superman's place in the world. So you 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 had this scale of the entire world reacting to Superman, and we didn't have that in this, and so there were no stakes. So it was just like only the steak that was was the one that we just ate right before this podcast. That was the only stakes we, we did. Had. We're actually we're we're in uh, yeah. the backyard at the Two High McFly yeah. Studios. We were grilling and we're just hanging out. We're having fun, drinking. We're just talking about Justice League. So. Um, and we had so we had much to mistakes. say. We, yeah. yeah, but we had we so really much do. to say. We really do. We really do. So where do you guys actually want to start when we're just bright talking about Justice okay, League? Okay, well, right, as opposed to just saying, let's just start off with all the negative, that's too broad because we're all going to throw off a bunch yeah. of stuff. We, I feel like we all have the same negative. So let's pick one negative, focus on Do you want to talk about bad we'll stuff first or good stuff first? Well, let's just talk about story first. All right, yeah. because the good parts and like what's the bad parts? Because the, the, the real thing that suffered this movie was the story story it was the story it was the the structure was just just all over the place it was and it's hard to say whether the cgi or the story was worse the story well if if it's good you could take a pass on the cgi but the thing is the story was just like weird like it was like you could tell that it's like it's like they just moved it all out what if we put this here what if we put this here and then put this here and what if we shorten this part out you know what I'm you could totally tell that the movie was made in the editing room yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, it felt like there was you were almost like watching a writer's room you just yeah. felt like oh this would be a really cool scene for wonder woman or this would be a really cool moment for flash and you can this can be a really cool moment for you know batman or superman and and it wasn't narratively connected yeah, and right? yeah it just didn't flow it was just awkward because you could tell and it feels like there's a different story in there that they yeah. fucking tried to piece together yeah. you, can, you can tell that it was altered it's and like two different directors had two different ideas coming into this movie and whether it was their own original idea well for Zack snyder i'm sure it was his idea but uh for his version with whedon coming in place it makes it sound like it was the studio that um that possibly uh you know just kind of I don't know. Yeah, they just stuck the their dick in it, and like, they fucking yeah. swashed it around, and exactly. they just gave us a fucking executive's version they of how they wanted to do it. Yeah, they, they just completely controlled They this felt like production. it was a formula, and, and they just don't even know what the formula is. And here's the thing. How are you going to film this movie and then put the mandate on it of, oh, it has to be under two yeah, hours? Like, that's you the biggest problem with this that, movie. I would agree like, that that, is, great, that is the worst part of this movie was the mandate that it was under two hours. Because if, if this movie had two and a half hours, I mean, out of all the movies in the DCEU, this is the one that should be a really long should movie. Should be at least three hours. Yeah, it should I mean, take its time to introduce and just dive into the world. And it shows fun. it in the editing because we edit all the time, yeah. and we understand when when a scene looks off like it's been cut down, or if there was more to a scene, we understand that, and that's like why it was so like we weren't able to let it go, other than other general audience yeah. members. Okay, you know? so, time to breathe. So here's what we should do: since this podcast is about filmmakers, yeah. let's explain what it is that we're looking <clears throat> for, and what is it that we see when a scene feels too short. I mean, for Justice League, what I needed was I needed to see the team working together, like not just in pairs. Like we take this part, we. I wanted that one shot of all the superheroes together and showing how each one connects to the next one Avengers, with their fighter. Right? Yeah, Avengers just like the Avengers thing. I mean, like they which fucking ironically Joss Whedon. was Joss Whedon, <clears throat> and not you can tell Avengers, that- even like a good action sequence will drive you to one part to another part to yeah. another part to another part. Yeah, like. I don't know. Like, there's so much wrong. But that's what we did. I mean, we got a little bit of, with like certain characters working together, like Flash tipping the sword to Wonder Woman. Yeah. Or like Cyborg catching Aquaman. He's my man. He yeah. Throws him. And then, or like, know. oh, like when they were trying to separate the mother boxes, and yeah, and but, and Cyborg is just like, he's like, oh, these bugs are gonna keep on coming. He's like, you do that. I'm on bug duty. And like, there was like little hints, like it, it should have yes. been. They should have all been working together. But I, I want to see that. them physically fighting together, yes. not just pulling yes. freaking boxes apart. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. They wanted more villains because, like, yes, the stakes. The stakes are like low. They should be fighting in like, like all the cities in Earth has to be destroyed already because. It feels no, like I, I think I don't think they should be completely destroyed, yeah, destroyed, but, like, but under attack. Yeah, like, under attack, and every superhero should be protecting one part of that. And then they all end up coming together and at the come, end. But yeah. instead, what we got was just a Russian town, yeah. and we only focused on one specific family. Yeah. 
That was it. That was so dumb. They should. It should have. The the final battle should have taken place in a populated city, yeah. like a populated like DC America and it city. Should have been like twenty five <clears throat> thirty how cool, minutes. How man. cool would that be when like at the end you see all the destruction in the city and all the Justice League members like they they all like that Justice League pose yeah. at the end when they rising out of the rubble. Yeah, and then they just look at the destruction and be like, man, we destroyed this place. But you, then you see all the civilians coming out of their hiding spots and then looking up at the Justice League and them all cheering. Yeah, and like, like that would have been cool. Cool. Like at the, after they saved everybody, everybody just comes up from their hiding in the rubble, and they're just like, "Yeah!" and like just cheering on the Justice League. That would have been a fucking awesome ending. Like, how do you not think of that ending? Yeah. Why are they you taking it out of the population? Yeah, yeah that's because they're uh. so scared because of all the things that's like complain. People that complain about the destruction of Man of Steel, the fucking all the people die, dude. You need people for heroes. Yeah, like, there's, you know what no like, there's no heroes without people. Yeah, you easily could have created um, or given a little bit of backstory to some of the humans that they had to save. You know, like, yeah, each of them saving a fucking, like, family or saving, like, thing. They had that, but, like, a building? There's no people. That's just a building you save, but, you know, you'd see people inside yeah, that building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I, and, and I think, again, the biggest, uh, another, I mean, there's so many big problems with what the biggest problem is. Another big problem for me at the end, the main fight, talking about story structure, was there was no sense of peril. Yeah. And what I mean by that is you never had Stefan Wolf right there ready to just freaking kill, kill somebody. somebody and, like, killing them, and they're, like, about to die, and then Superman comes in and rescue. There wasn't any of yeah. that. It was just, <clears throat> you know, Aquaman yeah. got tossed, yeah. Wonder yes. Woman threw, but there was no sense of, like, they're literally going to die right now. That's why There's it should have taken place in a populated city. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. for instance, and a reference yeah. that I'm making is Spider-Man Homecoming. Remember Spider-Man's underneath the, come on, Spider-Man. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Spider-Man. There's no good moments he like that. He had that. There was not any of that, which then weakens the villain. And talking about that, Superman becomes a deus ex machina because he has no um he made it too easy for him to kill Steppenwolf yeah. or not kill or beat well, I was okay with the how how he could beat up Steppenwolf, but there, like when it goes back to what you're saying, there should have been more elements and more villains yeah. participating in this thing that the other Justice League members have to take care of, yeah. and he just takes care of the big baddie. There's, there's you know no reason I mean? for all of them to come together if Superman could just beat him, yeah, <laughs> easily. It weakens all of them. Like, yeah, it, it weakens does. everybody. It's just and, – and another thing I notice and like I really started thinking about this today when we're talking about how you know they're always in an abandoned city. This movie felt like the only people who were in the movie were the Justice League. Yeah. If you notice that, like it felt – it had no there's scale. No, there's no – There was yeah. no scale. It just felt like it was just all Justice League members. I'm like, are you guys living in a world with other well, people? We, we like, did also get you know uh, Amy uh, Adams and Diane Yeah, Lane that's and, not fun at all. But that's you know, not but, like – I mean you got oh, a little man. bit of it in the opening credits, like the, the typical Zack Snyder slow emotional opening credits when you see the world like crime has risen. But it sh that should have been sprinkled throughout the whole movie. It should have been a bigger yeah. scale and it wasn't and it should have been like the, like that last shot of all the justice league standing together that was like it had no like fuck yeah it was just yeah. like they were there it looked like they were there for a photo shoot instead of putting them in a situation yeah. where they're in a destroyed city and people are coming out the only thing and I, like praising them you the know the only thing i got out of that was just a fist bump from flash and stuff. yeah <laughs> like, i was like well, hey he finally got his you know well, fist bump. warner brothers has no balls they yeah. don't have no. fucking the balls to like do what they want and make sure, like, because they always keep changing. They keep changing their freaking <clears throat> um, structure. Well, I like, and, that, and that's why I think that they slapped it together too fast. I mean, I really like Zack Snyder, but I do not think that he should have been in charge of the entire DC Cinematic Universe. <clears throat> it should have been Jeff Johns from the beginning, working with, let Zack Snyder make yeah. the movie, but you need that Jeff Johns influence. Stay Guardians. Yeah, yeah, you but know what you, I mean? You, like, You know what I think it was, though? I think it's because... And this goes to the Dark Knight trilogy. Christopher Nolan killed that trilogy. Like, he did yeah. such a good job. So they probably figured we can duplicate that by doing this. So they plugged in Zack Snyder, who was a great director, right? Like, he never really had problem movies before this. People still like Sucker Punch. Some people bash it, whatever. It's still visually a beautiful movie to watch. Yeah. And I enjoy watching it. Um, then he came out with... You know, Man of Steel, which was like, okay, that's solid. And then BVS came out and was like, ugh, this is not that good. Well, because they were running into the same problem as BVS when you're forcing, like, to a director to shorten the film. Yeah. That That's why, like, if they had released that ultimate cut theatrically, I mean, like, it would have been it tough been because better, it was, like, yeah. three hours yeah. long. But, like, it would have gotten such a better response than it did because, the like, the editing in BVS was just bad. And there was just story – there was a story element in BVS that just made no sense 
the whole Lois Lane bullet thing. It's just like, yeah. and you know, it was just. And they did the same thing here. It's like, again, and that's why it's hard to say, to give it anything more than like, I think a seven, seven and a half. Like you can't really put in the eight range. Some well, people may feel that way and that's great. And it's, yeah, I'm glad you had fun. I had fun watching it. But that doesn't make it a nine. I mean, a nine is like ridiculous. You have to be a great movie to be in the nine range. Yeah. Which means an eight range should be really good movies. Like if it was like one of the first DC movies released, that it would be a lot more willing for fans to forgive yes. it. But this is the fifth fucking movie in their franchise. It's just like, how can you? How do you not know how to make a, a, a movie that flows that has good well, story? It's idiots, just like, dude. what Those the hell? Executives man? are idiots. All they got to do is tap into their animation department. Their animation department are making better movies. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. making better movies. Just follow that structure. It's just insane that, like, you know, like they they don't insane, understand man. that they are the problem. Yeah. They think it's, like, the story problem. I was like, no. I'm like, you're not letting them, like. And then they blame the critics. And they're it's putting like, and the directors the in a box. Yeah. And that's another thing why I also kind of give Justice League a little bit of credit. Because it had all this awful story coming, like, just how they had to put the movie together. Like, the critical responses yeah. to the previous movies. And it was they were just stumbling <clears throat> along the way. And, like, you know that they're trying to course correct in this movie. And you and it's definitely shown, but we like the way that they're going towards. It was just a sloppy movie to you know. It was the execution, man. Like you have a good setup, you have good story. The, the thing that they had, or not a good story, but what they had though was they had a good story in there. Yes, yes, they had they it. They had a good story in there, and they lost it along the yeah. way. They that lost it along or the way. they tried to come up with a new story after they already filmed the old story. So I don't know which one it is, but. Yeah. Whatever we saw, I didn't like you it. You know what this is starting to remind me of? And I think I was telling you guys earlier, is the um, whole Richard Donner thing with Superman. Mm, Superman yeah. 1 Superman and 2. 2 yeah. He was filming both those movies at the same time because it was supposed to be one big movie, but they made them the first part is just the first movie. And then they fired Richard Donner like when he was like a third of the way sure. through the second movie. Man, how big was that fight? And it was fi- they just fired him, man. Yeah, but and it, then it was over a <clears throat> fight though. That's what I'm wondering like how I forget big what was that it was. Fight? I I forget what it was about. I mean, obviously big enough to fire Richard That's what Donner. I'm saying, dude. Like, and man, what and do you say? they brought in another guy. I forget who they brought in to finish it, but the, there was just weird things in Superman 2. And like you like you remember when he peels off his Superman shield and he just like frisbees it at a at one of the bad guys <laughs> yeah. and it was just like what the fuck is that magic like yeah. what the hell he's a wizard and dude. then I think it was just um, not too long ago or maybe within seven years Richard Donner was able to get access to all his old footage that he was doing for Superman two when he got fired because they scrapped all of his footage but now he has it and he made his own cut. Like how many years later? Since like the eighties, he's made. I don't think I haven't seen that Donner. Right? The Richard Donner cut is really good because it changes the story completely. I know I have, but I don't remember it. And it was so I, good. I think we need to do a viewing of it. But yeah, what's what's kind of tricky about it though is because it was incomplete, he never finished shooting it. So he had to use like rehearsal scenes that he shot. Uh. As like to help with the narrative, but it was still kind of cool. I mean, you, you could just mainly you could tell more about the um, actors, idea. the actors like rehearsing. That they, they, they were just uh, a little bit more over the top with their acting line. But anyway, it was just I feel like we we want this for Justice League because I want to see the unaltered Zack Snyder version of Justice League, and we're never gonna get it. And this is a case where I really uh, want to see the Zack Snyder version because I think I would love that Zack Snyder. Yeah, version. yeah. But, but he never finished it, and that's the sad. Part. I we're think never he finished get it. it. They just re- redid it. They See, just and, and what's like weird it. is that the rumors behind it, what they were saying was that it was so unwatchable. That's what the executives of Warner Brothers for, felt. For like, the oh. Warner Brothers executive, what's unwatchable to them because they don't see dollars. They see it's a long movie. It's a long movie because Zack Snyder likes yeah. long movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he likes a three hour, Yeah, he likes a three hour like. See, but you know why though? Because it's not like he cramps too much story into it. He <clears> loves <throat> his drawn out shots that yep. look great. I enjoy them. Well, yeah. for Justice League, you need that though. You mm. need that epicness. Yep. Because like it's supposed to be epic, and like you can't just. Like Wonder Woman just saves the freaking um, what's that? Is that a courthouse? Yeah, the courthouse. And then scene. you cut right away, dude. <clears throat> let it breathe. 
let everyone yeah. breathe. Le- like, like because it will go sequences. it will go back into that scene in particular, which I love, and you're right. But it goes into like what Batman was saying later to her. It's just like you're supposed to be a beacon of hope, but yeah. you've just been hiding and not yeah. doing that hope for humankind. Yeah. And so at the fire. end of the yeah, at the end of that courtroom scene, it should have been like after she saved everybody, she turned around, maybe the people want to talk to her and yeah. she just runs off. Yeah. And then that makes sense later on at the end of the movie when they defeat the bad guy and then you see a little bit of each hero like later on and you see yeah, Wonder yeah, Woman yeah. like talking outside of a robbery and she's yeah. talking at all the kids yeah. and all the robbers are tied up with the well, rope. They like, did show her at the end signing autographs and smiling. That's at what we're talking about. That's exactly what we're just talking about. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I'm sure there was maybe a, a deeper scene in there and they just cut it down because everybody no, doesn't know. know who she is. No, no, I mean nobody like no, because that was explained with Batman. Uh, Batman did that when they're in the, his hangar, and yeah. he's just like, "Why no, aren't no, you a beacon that. of hope?" Yeah. And the, that's that payoff. But the setup at the beginning was bad. Yeah. And like they should have showed her dip out of there right after she saved them. Yeah. The biggest thing, Show the don't biggest tell. gripe too. They made Batman a pussy. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did, man. They fucking more towards emasculated Batman. He never he more towards the end, Wolf, man. Like he, all he kept finding was the bug guys, and he was struggling, and he always seemed old. And the bad thing too is that he was like fat man. Dude. Yeah, he was like yeah. you could fat tell. in some scenes, not in others. You could tell which ones were the pickup yeah. scenes. And Ben Affleck either got. Like, like, like Batman rehab. that's kind of out of shape or Batman that's, that's very out of shape. That's why I don't blame him that he wants to not be Batman anymore. He, because, just, he doesn't want to eat But if you anymore. look at it, I mean, it is what the Batman character in this DCEU is supposed to be. He's supposed to be older Batman who's just kind of fallen off the wagon. But it's so funny. Yeah, I, in this movie, he's supposed to be getting back. Yeah, you but know. Batman doesn't ask permission. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, that's if what he I wants like. to do something, he'll just do something. And oh, yeah. like you know, how like Batman. how like doe eyed he was for Superman when Superman came yeah. back, you know what I mean? Oh, they show him and he's like literally open mouth, yeah. open he's just like, like like a big a kid. goofy kid smile. No, dude, that's yeah. I don't like that's that not Batman. All. But you know what's funny though is that we were sitting there watching smiling too, <laughs> like because Superman came back. It is fun. He's a badass. The, it's all it, fun. The Jeden, uh, the Jeden, the Whedon, the Whedon, yeah. freaking parts, and you could tell like it, they made it lighthearted, but like. It's not Batman. I can yeah. see Flash doing that. I can see Flash all being like Spider Man, like you remember, like in Civil War. That's what the Flash is. Well, it's like they, all they fucking fanboys. Kind of well, like you know what was like his what, what personality I, yeah. was what what it was in Homecoming, yeah. but they turned it up a notch or two. What but, I really liked about Flash in this movie is like, and they didn't really get to do that with any of the other characters. Is like they like he was like the comic relief, you would say. But they have that story with him and his dad, which is like those scenes were good. It makes you care about the character or more because like Every comedian, they, they they live a painful life. They, it's because of, like they're the root of sadness. Ask you like, there's some destruction in their own personal life. Should we put ourselves in a box and make this fucking talk two hours long, or should we just we just go? Oh. <laughs> no, we're just, gonna, no, we're we're just gonna, gonna talk it out and just see where it and goes. And see how man. long we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> like just see where it there's goes. And when the, when the conversation so starts I, to I die down, I will say this about the Flash is because he paid. And I know when you know because Jose kept mentioning it, Mike kept mentioning it, but. You know, when they announced that he was going to be Barry Allen, Barry Allen's known for being the smart techie kid, right? Yeah, not funny. Not the funny no, goofball. No, that is Wally, yeah, which is the Wally second West. Flash. Yeah. So, but his humor kept coming off as Wally and not really Barry. Mm-hmm. Watching the movie, it makes sense to me. It's like they took Barry, but then they gave him like a weird... Wally um, West personality. That's so, his, yeah. Sort of, but but what they did was like they gave him a weird um, behavioral... You know something that like kind of made him a little weird. And, like, oh yeah, almost, like socially like awkward. He's like he's yeah, too smart for his own. Yes, good. he was almost like like he had Asperger's, so it, he was able to play <clears throat> into that Wally world while still being very out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this movie out. had him total like social awkwardness, and that's what was funny about it because he acknowledged it too. But it, it was I I liked I liked Ezra Miller. I had nothing bad to say about him. I I think there was just the one part well, the I didn't like are is when he part. was uh, when he was in the Bat Cave when they first get to the Bat Cave oh, and yeah, he starts zipping around. around. He's yeah. like the Bat. Cave. That seemed I'm very like, Whedon, dude. That, that, very that was Whedon. very Whedon, but it felt so out of place. I mean, like it felt because so it like, like you could tell. Ta- like that's when you it was really tell. obvious. Like, oh, they yeah. had to add that in there. Because, and that's the big thing is you have these funny comedic moments, and then you have these dark, serious. Like you go from one cut and the next cut, you're cutting to a very dark, serious conversation, and that's the problem. The tone feels off. My favorite part, though, that I just realized right Wait, now. Wait, are we are we talking about favorite parts, or we, let's just talk? No, about no, 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 because yeah, it, yeah, it, it we, goes we like thing. Okay. Because we're talking like it was. It goes back to Batman. I hated the Batman here, right? Yeah. 
But my favorite part of Batman is like when he was like taking off his thing. You see the inside of Batman. That's yeah. when you should see Weary Batman. Yeah. But when he, when when he's wearing the cowl, I don't want to see Weary Batman. Yeah. But when that scene, the like little touching scene where Wonder Woman just like cracks his like. Oh, she puts his shoulder oh, back in the place. Yeah. That's a good scene. Yeah. I love that mm-hmm. scene because that's like after they were fighting. That was Fat Batman though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was after that moment when he told her, "It's like you're not a beacon of yeah. hope. You should be." And then afterwards, when he's just like, "Hey, listen, if we can get." through the night he goes you can go back to the shadows you can even dress that as a bat really, and i really won't yeah. sue he goes i won't sue that was fun that was like yeah that was a good scene i like that it was a good scene I but that's too. what i'm saying that's when you should see batman weary yeah but when he's wearing the cowl you should not see fucking weary batman there should be the, well his personality should change too when he's got the cowl yeah. on like when he's bruce wayne out of it he could wind yeah. down but when he's well, got that he's got to have that solid because yeah. he can't mess with his persona he has, yeah. to, be he has to be frightening character. all time well yeah. that's the weird thing in bvs yeah. we got that batman yeah. It was the freaking yes. intense. Yeah, he was a badass oh, Batman. In this one, where did that Batman go? Yeah. And you're right, he felt like a pussy to me because even when he's fighting again at the end yeah. and he's like, stri- he's just fighting bug guys. You, you didn't see the fucking warehouse no. Batman that fucking just destroyed I, it. He never I, even it, took a swing yeah. at and the, And that's the thing. That's the thing too. Whenever whenever they do sequels, they find what really works in the last one and they duplicate it. Like every sequel. Yeah. Oh, well, we got to have this type of scene in there. That Batman warehouse scene was one of the most praised scenes in that movie yeah. and I cannot believe that they they didn't put that type of scene in this. And like, dude, like in Batman Superman, he was fighting Superman with that metal fucking armor. Bat- why armor. wouldn't? Why Where wouldn't he? Fight, why wouldn't what he fight he Steppenwolf a, with that? Yeah, he, like, I don't dude. Know, man. Instead, all we saw was the Nightcrawler. <laughs> well, he was also. He well, was, you know the story about the spider. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The yeah. spider. <laughs> Um, yeah. it, it's it's also because Superman was under the influence of Kryptonite too when he was fighting him in that. Well, the so. thing is, Batman fights smart. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, he, beat he up didn't Superman. fight very smart in this one. He had his yeah. car. He lost <clears throat> his car. The Batmobile and it, got destroyed. Yeah, and then he's just there, just swinging around on a fucking vine, <laughs> like trying to fight bug guys. You know, like so that, bugs uh, are minions. You don't yeah. have a hard time fighting minions. I yeah. will say though, I really did like the actual design of the Parademons. I thought that they look They're fucking cool. cool. They look pretty cool. Yeah, like they they look scary. Like with that sharp teeth that, like I like those those were cool but there should have been other like general like fucking bad I, guys other general bad guys like when you watch like um, I think it was a Wonder Woman thing where Dark she's Sa- fighting Stefan I don't know which movie? which DC animation is when, like oh. when um, Dark Side's generals the, he has different generals mm-hmm. I think he was Supergirl or All Star Superman or something like that, where okay. there's Supergirl. Okay. Where Dark Side has different generals. They should have sent like 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 four horsemen of the apocalypse. Or yeah. Like that. No, no. Uh-huh. He should have sent like four well, generals fighting different they're parts. They're setting of the world. that up yeah. for Justice League Two, I guess, or is supposed to be. Yeah. Now I guess it's the Injustice League. I mean, I'm not <clears throat> sure what they're doing. I don't know what's going. I mean, like Flashpoint. It's like they're hints of Flashpoint in there. Oh, dude, I would love a Flashpoint movie, and I think that yeah. could help save it because because Aquaman has to be really good because they're done filming that. Dude, Aquaman was so underutilized in this movie like i really enjoyed the scenes that he was yeah. in it and it's like he could have been in it more he definitely he he should have had at least well, one more good moment Aquaman movie because i kind of only dude, because only because of james wan only because gives i'm really hope. yeah gives james hope, wan yeah. gives me hope i all of his movies are just they're really great but that was that scene where it takes place in atlantis was That's one of the, the most worst. disappointing <laughs> scenes of the entire yeah movie. but you know that he's going to be able to change it yeah, but it just looked terrible though. Like, no, no, I, I agree with you, but it just, oh my god, look. I mean, bad, I mean, man. look, look, with, look how they, bubble. look how they changed Themyscira, or Themyscira, in this compared to Wonder Woman. It did not look like the same. No, place. because this one was still CGI. Right when they cut the to it, I know, money. I know, we all saw the computer. Like, it looks so bad. It looks like, so bad. Every time bad. I watch it too, like I see all the wasted money. You could have just done yes. this. Yes. And yep. Wonder Woman, like Themyscira, looked so good. Like that was it looked yeah. beautiful. That was but then the you look at it in Justice League, you're just like, eh. And I feel like that's what James yeah. Wan is going to do to Atlantis. And he's like, oh man, that actually looks pretty cool. But that is one of my favorite scenes though in the movie. It's the Themyscira scene because they, it made. The, the chase after the mother box. Yeah. Steppenwolf yeah. had a hard time getting that mother yeah. box from the Amazons without any like yeah. superpowers. The, and stuff the like whole that. like mother box thing made me think of a uh, Zelda. Remember we get to collect the triangles. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like so Lord of the Rings too. The Lord of the Rings from the he- people. Yeah. The Ring of the Elves. The like exactly. you know like it was entrusted to different. Yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. It felt like Lord of the Rings. Man, I've seen the story yeah. so many times. In that yeah. exposition. But it did have some little bit of lantern in there, but uh, that was yeah. that that was cool. But we're not ready to talk about the yeah. good things yet. Yeah, no. we're not. We're we're, we're still talking about the bad still, shit. And and, and you guys last about another hour. So we already know that the story structure was fucked. They didn't give us the yeah. good story structure what we needed. So let's talk 
parts about were a little bit about the technical stuff with like the CGI. CGI. Uh, CGI. CGI was, the was mustache. Bad, man. Well, that's what's known as the the fucking valley on uh, yeah. Henry's lip. Yeah. It looked but bad. you know what it was? It, and I'm starting to think about it. I, it it feels more like the reshoot CGI was really bad other than Steppenwolf's actual design. Yeah. I like yeah. Steppenwolf. I like the design. He should look more like animatronic he should have just looked more real i just wish they i wish they casted an actual actor and just me even augment him to make him look bigger they should have blended it it was the guy from uh game of thrones the the guy who's 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 getting burned Mm -hmm. alive and then just killed him with the arrow it's mance raider yeah yeah but the thing is uh, see see, now let's go to visual effects yeah so now let's hop over to anton talk about that vfx the problem is with the vfx first of all the first shot that they shown is a CGI lip, and it just throws you off right away. Yep. Because you're seeing the <laughs> that Why lip. That's all you see. It's like, man. remember, that's how you start a movie with an iPhone footage it of Superman. It didn't even look like him. I swear to God, for a second, they yeah. turned around. I thought, oh wait, this is somebody <clears throat> else playing Superman, and it took me a second to realize. No, that's a fake fucking it's, it's, mouth. It like, was so hell? noticeable, and it, that's all you can yeah. think about while you're watching I would rather look it. at Tarkin than that mouth. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, because I spent so much time focusing on that yeah. that I wasn't even listening to what he was no. saying. What the context of that I'm like, thing wait, is. what does that yeah. mean? And But not only that, that was just a stupid thing to have at the beginning because I had no payoff. But the thing no. is, there is. I just found out what the payoff is. What? It's like, what's the best thing in, on earth that you like? No, about humanity. It about says. humanity. The thing is that that was the big guns part where her low slain is his humanity. Yeah, but there's oh, yeah. no, pa- no, there's, no, no, no but, but it, you, it didn't read. You have to really think about it. No, you it have to read. think no, about it. But I if mean, you're going to visually show that yeah. show visually show the payoff, you know, you can't yeah. just set something up and then just be like, oh, you, your mind will figure well, it, it out. It was the same thing with the Wonder Woman thing, right? Like about if, being that beacon that you were talking about. Yeah. Like they just hit it again. Well, if it was like they opened up with that, and then one of the last things of the movie, like after when they're going to each character, you see the little kid on the phone watching the video, and you see it complete, like whatever clever line that he yeah. says is his answer, the best thing about humanity, and then go into him running down the alley with opening up his shirt. Well, so let's talk about, yeah, the, the CGI part. Why is it like <sighs> that? Why did they bother to remove that? For me... That's a waste of money because yeah. all the scenes that they did with the removal of the mustache that I noticed could not have been in there. They, they could have just cut that out. Yeah, but that was the majority of his not scenes. Really. Though. Yeah. He had a lot that There's had one CGI with the lowest on part when they were in Smallville. Yeah. That was, that was yeah, needed. That, that was one, needed. That one was the only – no, that one didn't have – no, the that, no it did. that, that was fake. Oh. There was, and there was a, a it was sprinkled throughout. Yeah. You could tell when they yeah. were on a green screen, and yeah. then when they were in oh. actual. Field. Um, and the flash uh, end credit scene that was fake. Oh lit yeah, too. that was. Yeah, that was fake. They could have got rid of that. Yeah. It's an end credit. It's, it's just a fun scene. But even like, the final fight, there was a couple of moments where it was. They fake could have lit. added more exposition in that scene, like yeah. more of them like hanging out. Do we call it like lip gate. Like would you guys? Would you guys be okay if they just had him with his mustache in the movie? Dude, I I was like thinking too, like what if Batman just had a freaking beard. Superman Batman had a did beard. Batman did have a beard, but yeah. he shaved remember, it off. Remember yeah. when you're when you when you die, your hair still your grows hair and your fingernails yeah. continue to grow. They could have just did that fucking mo, like because he was dead. They brought him back. But can Superman grow a beard then? Are we? But I'm just that? saying. Yeah, can, I'm just dude. saying because he kind of has one of those like twirly mustache villain things for like yeah. Mission Impossible. The problem yeah. is a like, mustache. You see, when, when you go to his chest, you can see fucking hair coming out of his chest. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see GI that. Just leave the beard, man. Like, it looks weird. Just make him freaking fully fucking bearded, Superman. But it's not just about the lip anymore. I mean, it's about you could see the pickup shots were all on green screen, and it was so and, noticeable. For me, it was mainly with Aquaman in that first scene when Bruce Wayne is talking to Aquaman as he's walking yeah. into the water, and that looked cool. And then all of a sudden, they do a close up, which was a reshoot, and you could see that like it yeah, just it looked, looked different bad, lighting. Man. You could tell like the bat. It didn't feel it like they were in fake, the same dude. area. It completely fake. And then even when they cut back to Bruce Wayne and all that. And everything. The it. one thing that sucks too is the main battle. Because most of it is see, it's all green screen. Yeah. yeah. You can see it. Like they, they need to fight in real places. Yeah. They, you need to fight. In, like like even in Man of Steel, it's all CG. You could tell it's like all CG. And like they need to like, I don't know, like the blending like, cause they use like I think eighty percent CGI and just like oh my god, twenty percent yeah real sets. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then it starts looking more like a video game. Yeah, uh, it looks like a cartoon. And like, even though they're real, their movements looks like they're CGI too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, well, that was one of my complaints for the Wonder Woman movie was like in all the opening stuff in Themyscira, yeah. it was just like it, they all didn't feel like real people. Like when they were all training in those yeah, big white trucks, it felt looks like more real. it felt like Matrix, like Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Like you could tell that those are 3D model people doing all these flips and shit. Actually, <laughs> no. Um, Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Yeah. Not all of them, but like Themyscira looks more of a real place than like. Yeah, this one looked completely fake. It looked like like they needed to render it still. <laughs> yeah, it looked like, bad. Yeah. It looked pre-rendered. It was uh, like it the looks like a video game. It doesn't it look like a freaking. And like a video game from like 2008. Yeah, yeah. dude, <laughs> Battlefront looks better than fucking. Oh, yeah, Battlefront but we're not ready to talk about Battlefront yet. We're still no. talking about Justice but, like, League. like, yeah, so like Steppenwolf, everybody complains like about like what they should have done is just, they should have just used a real face. With a CG body, and that will yeah. probably be better because the oh, way what, for Se- Steppenwolf, yeah, because the way he talks looks so fake. Yeah, it didn't look like he was yeah. talking. Um, I didn't yeah. mind the character though yeah. coming into as much as that. You know, they were talking yeah. like they said he's like a big pile of poop. It's like okay, well maybe physically he looks like that, but when he first comes in, and he's taking the mother box. Um, yeah, like that was a dope scene fighting yeah, the girls, cool, doing yeah. all that diving, and f- he looked fucking and the chase, powerful. That chase was really yeah, cool. that chase was badass. Um, like but then the end, the mother box. Yeah, yeah, but then the third act was like when he was fighting the heroes. It's like okay, this is just not good. Then yeah. that's when it got bad. And the uh, water scenes too. Oh, and Atlantis. Oh, Atlantis. Atlantis Dude, was bad. Everything so with bad. Atlantis was bad, man. Like, like they're just in a freaking the air swimming. Bubble. I like, get Aquaman it. looks like he was flying underwater, but yeah. There's no sense. You can't fucking. How could you just zip through? You gotta. Well, that's what. Well, the thing is, Aquaman's supposed to be able to do that. Like how Superman can fly in the sky is how he he is underwater. Yeah. Yeah, but he has to do like the little like motion. He doesn't do the motion. He's just like stiff. Oh, so you're yeah. I get what you're saying. Like a dolphin. Yeah, he has to be like a dolphin. He has to move gracefully around, but he looks like he was just stiff and just like yeah. zooming in there like a missile. That's right. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would have liked to see more body like movement when he's doing yeah, it. Like his little feet just going. Yeah. <laughs> his little toes. His separating. little toes. Yeah, like, he has to do like way. you know how like you Anton do the needs some toe wiggles. <laughs> have to, like, Anton needs some toe wiggles. Yeah. It's it's all about the motion in the ocean, man. That's what you that know, is. Like I want to see gills like come out like like. I did, I did notice his breathing and his nostrils yeah. when it was up close. You could see like water rush out through his nose, and yeah. you could get a sense of him breathing that way. And I thought that was kind of cool. But I think James Wan is going to knock it out of the park. And I, I hate so. it that they had. I thought David Ayers was going to kill Suicide Squad. So I'm saying, what do we no. know? No. no. What do you think about like them going to a water bubble for them to talk? I want them just to just communicate. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Underwater, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like they should have communicated underwater, but if. Juan decides to do um, some air bubble scenes and some language. not. I'm okay with that. And why is it Steppenwolf swims better than Atlanteans? <laughs> but have you noticed about this, <laughs> though? I mean... He's got the horns, dude. You, w- these movies that we hear that are troubled are like, you know, a Suicide Squad. You heard about that while they were making it. How, yeah. like, you're just like, oh, man, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It's a mess. We heard that about Justice League. It's a mess. It's a mess. There were some rumors about that with Wonder Woman, but, it like, those were shot down. But we, I haven't heard anything bad about the Aquaman movie yet that they were filming. There's no, but, no drama. So that tells me that they're proud of what he's doing. It's well, not like... Even Wonder Woman, though. I didn't hear problems with Wonder Woman. I, I heard... Not, I just heard just the director. Yeah, exactly. But people were just questioning why she was in charge, yeah. but... I didn't hear and anything about, about it, and too. it felt like the movie just got made, and all of a sudden we started seeing yeah. trailers. The problems with one, like the the things that are the what happened one, they're like questioning why Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. Why yeah, is it exactly. The but just that was that, that, that was happened yeah. during BVS. Yeah. So yeah. Wonder the actual Wonder Woman movie. Then, I love it that, that they all got shot down by the movie that the movie was better than what they expected. Yes, yes. yes. No, and, I agree with you on that. But that's why I'm saying, like, I, I think... Yeah, Aquaman just came and got made, so yeah. I don't know what to make of it. That's a good sign, I'm hoping. That's a good, yeah, it's a really good sign. Because James Wan is really good at building up suspense. <clears throat> if you watch all of his horror movies, they, they set yeah. aside from every other horror movie because you get emotionally invested. Like, you, it, he builds good suspense. And you can do that with superheroes. You can get, like, I have a feeling we're going to get some awesome battle scenes. I think the story is going to be good. Jason Momoa, too, is an awesome actor. He's a I badass, know. dude. He's, he's really cool. He's I'm just... I, I wish he did have at least one more good scene. My man. My, yeah. I, love that. I didn't even bother that. He had that. the best scene, bro. I didn't even bother the whole bro um, type of attitude because no, that, that made it, sense. Man, yeah, he care. should feel like a surfer, dude. He's you a know surfer, like, bro. But, I hear, but that brings us to because, all right, some of the bad things, I mean, like getting Justice League getting cut up. Willem Dafoe was was, was cut out of yeah, Justice who, who League. Was he supposed he to was be? playing Volko. He was basically Volko. the one who was like bringing uh, Aquaman 
to the shore when he was a kid. So he was on land and he was giving him stories about Aquaman. Yeah, he was telling oh, so this to Aquaman. Aquaman. Aquaman grew up on like on land. Yeah, and he he grew up hearing the stories from Volko t- telling him about like, hey, you're you you know you're part god, you're, yeah. you're from the sea, you're from the ocean, but you're a half breed. You know what? Because he's part human. Off. That sounds kind of so mean. like he goes down there and they all kind of started calling him a half breed and he thought he was supposed to be accepted, but he's just like, you know what? Fuck you. And he was just like, I'm gonna do this on my own. And that brings in so much more like reason behind his attitude in Justice League. You know what I mean? And you know what I didn't like? Hmm. Why did it? Uh, why did they? Uh, well, uh, fucking. Why do they have Aquaman in Alaska or something like that or somewhere north, Arctic kind of region, where they could? Have, uh, there's so many beautiful islands like fucking Hawaii, like fucking Guam or something like that. Yeah, why true. can't he be in oh, a paradise? Oh, y- you know island? why though? Because those areas tend to be more populated. And he's talking about being a lone wolf, so it seems like he likes to just go, yeah. drink his there's whiskey. Islands in like you know, but, but they also said, um, remember when Bruce Wayne came? He said that this town was known for getting really hungry, and they didn't have a lot of, uh, I don't know, fishermen, yeah, or whatever, around that. the cold. He had to go yeah. get the food and feed them. Remember, he would come every winter. Yeah. So who knows what he does in the summer? He probably does go there and fucking surf out. Well, you know? he, he probably has, like, had some he, type he's of got, like, like Hawaiian fucking. Tattoos. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. he probably yeah. does he, go he out like there. The rock, basically. Yeah. <laughs> he probably goes there three, uh, three seasons out of the four, man. That'd be that'd be cool to see that Naka man. I hope like, they, I want to see him. Like in, um, How tight was that? Hang surf out with Moana, scene, though, dude. He's fucking <laughs> sitting there surfing, surfing the on the yeah. yeah, dude. That surfing was cool. The see, I would the thing love is, to see Aquaman yeah. surfing like in real water. Yeah, but like oh. the thing is, that was overplayed with the trailers. Yes. I'm like, you see, so you. I just wish that was yeah. more of a surprise. They should have saved that. I will say this though: the Parademons, right? They mention about how um, he can turn, you know, people whatever into these Parademons. Why do we never see that? That's true. You only showed it in the clip. We just but saw then... Zack Snyder. He was the one. That was, yeah, I but think like that was Zack Snyder. Th- they what, set in the it up. Scene? No, in the in the prologue. Yeah, in the prologue. I in think the that was scene. Zack Snyder. Was he, it? He looks like Zack Snyder. I don't think so. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. We'll, we'll, we'll check. We'll fact check yeah. that later. But like, but, he, like... but though, um, they set it up, and there's no payoff to that again. It's like, then why are you mentioning it? So I don't know if Zack <laughs> Snyder was going to go that direction. I don't know, man. I I don't know what to make of this third act, the the final battle fight scene. That was a mess. That whose was was that? Was that Whedon's or was it Snyder's? The only thing I can take out of that is just seeing seeing Superman come back was the best part about that. And yeah, Superman came back. I, I mean, like, like yeah. but he still he he, he like saved our feelings for Superman, but he didn't save the movie. Um, no. he saved our feel like we're, ho- we're taking that new direction. This is the Superman that we've been fucking waiting for a happy, hopeful Superman. The one that can kid around with the justice league. Yeah. That was so awesome to see. I'm like, finally we're getting this. And now after this, I really want, they should put all their focus on doing a man of steel sequel. This is what I think. The thing is, you know how they always said, um, civil war was Avengers 2.5 mm-hmm. because they're all like right yeah. there. Yeah. This is Man of Steel 2 because this is more about Superman. Yeah, like, but he was like only the, in it, though, for a little bit of time. I know, but the thing is, the Justice League is looked more like background to the final thing because yeah. Superman was so powerful. The final fight, I completely agree yeah. with you. Yes, yes, you're right about that. And the thing is, like, what they should have done with that final fight is, like, to, in, to make Superman, like, to make him not so powerful – like make him be saving more people while they're fighting Steppenwolf. Like that's or, why they, he can't be. Fighting or create him. that second big baddie or whatever. Yeah. Two other big baddies that the other Justice League is fighting and get Superman one on one with yeah. him and have him like almost yeah. dying and he comes back. Because you have to have Superman preoccupied battling. doing something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you had it in the city, he could be saving people. Like all he did was do the building the, and yeah. that was it. Saving people, saving people. So yeah. he can't fight the big bad. <clears throat> that's right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why yeah. you need all the other ones. You How would you guys feel about Ezra Miller as a Flash? I already talked about it. I thought yeah. he was really good. Yeah. No, he was no, good. No, I mean, no, like, yeah. sometimes it was a little bit too much. Like, like I said, with the whole bat, bat cave when he's running around, I was like, oh, it's like a cave. A bat cave. It was just like, that felt like Lego movie. He had some cheesy jokes in yeah. it. But, no, I mean, I mean not, funny, not too bro. many. I actually thought everything that he did kind of paid off for me a little bit. Batman has some cheesy jokes in this Batman one. was just like, he, when he was, it's different. When he was Bruce Wayne, is a little bit more, he can be a little bit more playful. But when he's... Bleh, fucking batman dude like yeah, he needs to, to be again he needs to be poker face batman yeah. he just needs to just like so if this is the batman we're getting out of affleck going forward then i don't want him to do batman that's again. why he doesn't want I didn't to like this one i think i get i get him i get i, I, well, I get I if get this is a, it too but i mean he's also like making weird freaking jokes and like interviews and stuff or it's like i don't i feel like he's losing his shit he's disappointed of what his character is because he was excited in the beginning to be batman yeah i think it's oh, it, it all it, he got crushed after bvs yeah 
But I do you think he was happy with BVS? I think he was happy no. with his character in BVS. Yeah. I just I just don't think he was happy with the way that the movie played out. Yeah. Because everybody praised him in that yeah. movie. Like nobody said anything bad about him in, in that movie. No, but then there was that yeah. that That was the best Batman I ever fleck. seen. That was a sad flash. He's a great thing. Batman. Um I, I don't really love him as Bruce Wayne. He's not bad as Bruce Wayne. Um I like his Batman. Batman BVS. I didn't like this Batman. Yeah. I thought this Batman was terrible. Oh, I, I thought in BVS he played both of them really good. I thought he was a really good no, Bruce yeah, Wayne. That's what I'm saying. Really he is pretty Batman. good at Bruce Wayne. I really like Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne. I think he's good. I like Michael Keaton. Yeah, Christian Bale was a good Bruce Wayne, yeah. but I didn't like Christian Bale's Batman. The best, though, by far is George Clooney. Yes. <laughs> Nipple, <laughs> yeah. Batman. Nipple Batman. He wasn't even Batman. That's he was Bruce card. Wayne, and then Bruce Wayne just put on a costume. Like, that that's a, what it was. He went to a Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Playing himself. Cyborg. So weird. Cyborg. Um, All right, let's talk about Cyborg. You know what? Cy- I am pleasantly surprised. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Cyborg was better than I thought, but it still doesn't necessarily make him a great character. But he no. was still better than I thought. He he, the actor did a good job as him. Again, it goes back to the writing, whatever. But they showed they why they did show why he was just kind of like monotone. I mean, like he, the whole body is new to him, and he like his his mom died in a car yeah, crash. Exactly. So and performance he, he, he wise, see, no issues. Yeah, but then like as more integrated he got with the Justice League, you could start to see his human humor start to come yeah. out. And that's what I was getting excited. Although I wanted his booyah to be bigger. Yeah, I wanted him to be fighting something, blasting, and say booyah, and it's yeah. like hell yeah, like the audience getting into it. And we didn't get that. that. You remember that in one of the trailers things? Like they had him like there was a guy about to get crushed by a car, and then there was a cop about to get crushed by a car, and then Cyborg just blows the car away. It's just like you might want to move. Like that wasn't in that wasn't they in the movie. Oh, that would have been good so stuff. good. Out. Why are they fucking cutting stuff it's, out? It's the executives, man. They put that mandate to make it under two hours. And I also heard another, th- like uh, Ray Fisher, who played Cyborg, said that there was a deleted scene about him with him and his mom that should have been that should have been in there too. Yeah, they should have been more backstory more to backstory. explain who they are, but like they, that. Happened. But for jokes, like this movie did have too many jokes. Uh, not too many jokes, but they they put in a lot of that stuff. But one of the ones I heard that was taken out was like really so funny to me, and I just wish that they kept it in. But they took it out because they had a swear in it. It's like you know when they're in the Batcave after Steppenwolf gets the last mother box and Aquaman's so pissed he picks up this piece of equipment he smashes it against the wall and Ben Affleck is like don't do that in the original line was just like don't do that a lot of my shit explodes I'm like I wish that line was in there the shit a lot of my shit explodes I'm like that was just so funny these are not ballsy they need balls they dude. lack testicles yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, fucking WB, yeah, dude. So, they fucking need So did, did uh, Wonder Woman, did she, you know, hit exactly as, as she's supposed to? Do you feel disappointed well, in her when, performance? When, when, when we talk about Wonder Woman, that, that means we have to move on to the best part. Yeah. Are we done talking about our problems? Are there any other big problems that you had with this movie? Because I um, want to be happy right now. I want to, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, like, yeah. everybody listening probably thinks that we hated the movie. Yeah. We actually didn't. I yeah. we, we had a lot of fun yeah. during this. But yeah. before we get that, I want to make sure there's nothing else that we can trash on. Well, um, well it might come out later. Yeah, on, but, like, it might, but we'll still might be a few let's talk about the good parts. All right. No, so let, let's talk about it. some good things. And well, that is, well, Wonder how about Woman. let's talk about some wonderful things like wonderful. Wonder Woman. Yeah. She exceeded my expectations for this movie. Every time she's on screen, she just puts a smile on her Yeah, face. so I can't say she exceeded my expectations. My, expect, my expectations were already high, and she hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because in BVS, I, re, I was already proven after that, that's Wonder Woman. So when Wonder Woman came out, she murdered it. The movie yeah. was better than yeah. I thought. So with this one, I expect a great performance, and it was. And she, everything. Like, Bravo. I loved opening up with her in that courtroom yeah. scene. That oh, was, man. oh, that was badass. such an awesome oh, I action I wanted scene. more of that. My favorite part know, of that scene dude. is when the guy had the machine gun, yeah. and he started taking yeah. it to the people, and you just see her just going down yeah, fast. And just like, yeah, oh, just man, like, dude. I was like, uh, like goosebumps were like fucking poking yeah. out everywhere. And she fucking zapped him oh, with the braces. Man. Says her line in, but that's why that needed to breathe. That needed a yeah. little bit more, but that, but, but that was still great. That was. I understand the cut great. though, but like, yes, yeah, we need more. So w- yeah. Wonder Woman was really great. Even like, here's something I really liked about her character. In every scene where there was like Steppenwolf, yeah. she was the first one just to run up to him, just like yeah. bring it she on. Never bitch. held back. Like she just runs right up she to him. She was the one the with the balls. Everybody else has to sneak around yeah. the side, and she just runs right up to him, and she just starts slashing and just like beating him up oh, and stuff. Dude, like, that's what I love. love. Man. She got headbutted by Superman. Oh yeah, that was cool though. Man, that was kind of cool. And then yeah. she gets him back, and he was like, "Oh shit!" And then then that's when he flies, and, yeah. ah, and he gets her. 
straight in. And she just stands back. She stands right back. So then let's talk about that scene, too. I mean, like, because the the best scene of Wonder Woman was that that court scene. That was the best fight of the whole movie with them versus Superman. Yeah, when they brought Superman back. Well, first of all, did you guys like how they brought Superman back? How they Um, I hated the cube touching the water. (laughs) See, I told you it's going to come up when we hate again. (laughs) That whole thing was terrible. I hated that. I I actually like that moment that that, uh, the Flash and Cyborg had when they were digging up Superman's body. Yeah, see, that was okay. That's fine, but you could have done it in a different way to have that chemistry. I didn't want him to be just... like Pet Cemetery was. I I liked it. I really mm-hmm. thought that that was some of the best parts of the movie. Like yeah, when they're when they're like standing the in his grave. The no, not that part. I'm okay. talking I'm talking about that fight scene. But before too, when they were digging up his body, it's like I could do this a lot faster, but it feels disrespectful. Yeah. And then when they were talking about, it's like, how did you get your powers? How did yeah. you get your powers? It's like, so I guess we're the accidents. It's yeah. like, yeah, we are the accidents. And I love that Fist moment. Bump. No, we're not yeah. gods. We're not, I yeah. love that movie. I mean, I love that part. That part in that. Ah, uh, Freudian slip. Kevin yeah. loved the movie. You heard it here. He gives it ten. He did nah. love the movie. <laughs> no, nah, I had no. I had a, had a really the movie. good time. He's like, like the, the reason we're like griping on it is because we want it to be better. Because it should have been better. It That's been the thing. Better. You have but the after, most iconic superheroes of all time. After they brought Superman back, I mean, fuck the mother box thing. I'm like, whatever. I just want Superman back. You don't have to yeah. make a big deal. Just bring him back. I hear yeah. that was a longer fight scene. <clears throat> Oh man, oh, that would be that cool. I need to watch that then. fight scene when he comes back, yeah. and it's so cool because it's right where he died. Dude, it could have lasted ten minutes. Yeah, man. that fight scene could have yeah. lasted ten minutes. It was so good. I loved, and the, they didn't make him feel like a bad <clears throat> Superman. I mean, like they did a really good job explaining. It's like, well, hey, listen, when you die, something of you is not the same. Like whether it's your mind or your soul, you might have your mind, but you're not gonna have your soul. And Superman was dead for a while, and then finally he's brought back, and he's just like probably pissed off. It's just like, why the fuck can't you just? Let Dude, I really want to see Bizarro in a movie. Bizarro would be kind of cool. That'd that's really like cool. that's way down the DC line yeah, like, let's if they ever talk do about that. Bad Superman, but uh, not yeah, really bad Superman, that, but like grumpy Superman. Well, like Pet Cemetery Superman. That would that well, scene was so, everything was in that Voorhees. scene was really cool. Yeah, no, I think Part I don't six. think it's Pet Cemetery. I think it was just like you know when you wake somebody up from a good sleep uh, and they're all grumpy. Well, when they're they wake confused. Up. <laughs> you ever like, you ever take like a two hour nap in the middle of the day and then you wake up you have no idea where you are and you start well what time is it I have to be at work what now am I doing one year yeah oh I think a little bit more maybe. I don't. I don't, I don't know how long. Year, maybe. Mm-hmm. Apparently, right. Lois Lane likes the smell of formalin. But I do. I do like. I do <laughs> yeah. like the whole uh, Batman bringing the big guns with Lois Lane. That was cool because you thought he was going to bring that. it out. Yeah, I already knew that was the big gun. Yeah, you knew it was, man. Yeah. Like that's the only it's thing going to get Lose, him. Those are the big guns. Yeah. Like it's either mom or girlfriend. But the actual you're... fight was cool because when he came back, you got to see his like. Even though he's he was fighting them, you got to see his power. And I loved it when they were all trying to fight him, and then the Flash is like running around, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, Superman. You see Superman slowly catch up to his speed and see him. That blew that my mind. Was, I was like, that, that is was nice. Cool, that, that was, was brilliant. I was like, that that's was... a good move, right the there. The characters are the best part of this movie. Yeah, I but actually like uh, that's great casting. Though. I actually really like the interaction between him and Batman during that scene when he grabs Batman oh. and he, he goes, "I remember." you and he lifts yeah. him up in the air he's like you he, he's like he's like you won't let me live you won't let me die and he's like because the world needs you he's like but do they need you tell me do you bleed that was so cool yeah. and then when and then when the big guns show up he just throws batman off to the side and then batman's reaction is just like yeah something's definitely bleeding yeah. that was like that well, shit I was didn't like fucking that. I, I liked like it. it because he's wearing a cow he shouldn't be Pussy. I know. When he's man. wearing that cow, he should be just like, yeah, I'll fucking fight you. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, he did. Yeah. And he had, but it was just like, oh, yep, something's definitely bleeding. That's did, that's that's kind of fun. What I did like with the Batman though, that whole Gotham scene in the beginning, really felt like Gotham to me. I was like, they got that world right. That looked yeah. really really cool. I loved it's it. Dark, yeah, yeah, it's like very dark. But there dark, was still but they got something right. missing about that scene too. Because it was too short. It was too. Sh- <laughs> yeah. It was definitely Exposition. too short. I, That's what's missing. I would have liked. I would have liked the build up of like the, the actual fight between the Parademon a little bit longer. Well, the Parademon I mean, just came. Like, how did he know about yeah. the Parademon? Instead, that, that he's scene, not on his thing. That's what we're missing. No, we're I missing think, all that no, backstory. No, that's what I'm saying. I just noticed like the second viewing that. He was baiting the parademon. No, no yeah, no, no. we yeah. knew that already. I knew that yeah, the first but time. How did he know about it though? That's the thing. I think he was already tracking yeah, the parademon. He was already tracking them because yeah. this is like Batman mid-investigation. No, 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 true, true. But I'm just saying, like, I just 
I don't know. I needed to see more of this world a little bit. Like, I really wanted to see more of Gotham. Because it was cut down to two hours. I know. Uh, hey, good, good stuff. Hours. Good stuff, though. The, that scene was pretty cool. I do like it. Yeah. The, I, the movie just should have started on that scene. So the, the cell phone and thing with Batman. that's when Batman was a badass. And that's when he had the bat, the backflip, remember? And he caught the yeah. dude and then fucking kicked him and flew him off to the Yeah, side. he wrapped him up and then just hung yeah, him off. He's like, like, fear. Oh, shit, fear. What do you yeah. want from me? Fear. They can smell it. But even when he's Bruce Wayne, he kind of talks like this. Yeah, I noticed that. And actually, where I'm like kind of I actually like that I don't mind no, the Batman it, it makes it more believable why he talks like that as Batman as opposed to Christian Bale. but it, it's 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 a computer you know uh, alteration of his voice in the bat suit so it's just like they show that yeah, BBS, from, that yeah cool. that's the beginning right so yeah. let's go yeah we already know we already talked we already talked oh let's talk about the uh, battle on Themyscira that's what I want that to talk about. even yeah, though the the the, the 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 home world of Wonder Woman didn't look as good as it did in Wonder Woman yeah. that it's scene bright, that scene was really cool man that whole like, chase when they're, when they're all waiting for the fucking Wonder Box yeah. to open they're like all the Amazons did they explain just... how uh, Steppenwolf came back though well, oh no! Like he didn't. His, he was just oh, drawn no, no, by no, the mother. No, box. no, it was like, after wait. after Superman because he didn't know where the mother boxes were, and yeah. after Superman died is when the mother yeah. boxes when started. When the son of Krypton oh, yeah. died, he's like all the mother Why? boxes. There's no I don't Kryptonian because know. they're scared of Kryptonians. Oh, the box? No, yeah. no, like Steppenwolf. Like, all these guys are scared of Kryptonian. But no, but why? how would that activate the mother box yeah, if that's Superman what I'm saying, because that, he, he got. It's almost like a beacon. He got the, you know, the signal of the mother box and landed, but why? It just awakened, but it never. they never said why it awakened. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. the no, they problem. No, they, they? they said it awoke because Cyborg had the mother box when he finally brings it back to the back cave. Oh, when and the he goes, he goes, he goes, it was, it was, um, oh, it was, no, it, it, I, listen, I'm explaining yeah. to you. They said it in the movie. <laughs> yeah. When Cyborg comes back with the mother box and goes, you know, they found this in, in the World War One, but they didn't know how to how to date it so it's because it's really old and it just stayed on a shelf until the day Superman died and then it lit up like a Christmas tree. So when Superman died in BVS, the mother boxes started coming to life. Yeah, why though? I don't know. See, that's the thing is why I think it's because we don't of know. the Kryptonian ship when Luther opened up Doomsday and shit like that because remember Sepp and Wolf came out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He yeah. rang the bell. Yeah, he, he rang the yeah. bell. Bell, ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 ding. Luther ding. opened it up. So like, it wasn't yeah. actually Superman dying. It was the when, incident. With, with the, yeah, when Le, when they all walked in on Lex yeah. Luthor and he was talking to Steppenwolf in the yeah. three boxes. Fucking Luther. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. We'll, well definitely talk about the post credits. Well, let's go back to the Mysterio. All right, so yeah, that battle sequence was really cool. I thought it was awesome. Dude, fucking tying it up with the arrow and launching that it. That whole chase. That first part, too, when like Hippolyta was just running. Close the gate. Oh yeah, yeah. all the stone Dude, doors falling Dude, down. All those fucking Amazons were sacrificing themselves to yeah. die just for her to get out. Yeah, that, that was, was so dope. That, was, that cool. was cool. That was really was cool, dope. man. That moment was that's very Snyder. That's though. very Amazonian. Dude. Like that's exactly how they would be. That's, that's what makes them like scene. a savage. Like, because you know, you hear like a whole tribes of women, right? Yeah. I'm glad they didn't just make it cheesy that shit and looks... they're all partners you can you, tell yeah, but the amazonians like... like they look real like they look like fucking savages like i'm i'm scared of them yeah <laughs> like, dude the way they're they, like, they, they get their that own. box dude they're like running they fucking she jumps and fucking sacrifices and you can see the one that collapses under the yeah. horse is almost like it's her lover because she's yeah. like no you know they're drawn. all partners because there's no men exactly yeah, so, which is kind of cool you know some ass ass so, action in the horse. So are you saying you do Airbnb there? <laughs> yeah. Does Themyscira have Airbnb? I want yeah. that blue hot tub water. <laughs> like, their teamwork is so fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. In, yeah. The, in See, that world, that's, yeah. How, that's how the Justice League should have been fighting off of each yeah. other. And especially with that prologue, too. That prologue was really good. And with um, Oh, yeah, the, the ghost. The, the with Lord the lanterns. The so that was Snyder then, right? That was, that was, that was Snyder's was all action. Snyder. You could so tell then that why does the CGI still look bad? Um, well, because no, in the in that it didn't look bad. It, it didn't in the look pro, good. in the pro it's not bad. Line, it I didn't mind the style of CGI they're looking for. But the yeah. thing is, that's how the style is, and it just looks bad because it's it's kind of off. But that is the style. It, it doesn't. It's still pretty. No average person could do that. I didn't. You know, I, yeah, but when I, but when I watched, no, but with a two hundred, three hundred million dollar budget, I, that's what you're paying for. You know I mean? It's not. You get so heated. Yeah. Talking, I know. You get like, so heated. You're gonna blow up the microphone, yeah. bro. Yeah, but when I was watching, but both times when I saw the movie and I saw that prologue scene, it I didn't think 
bad CGI. I, I thought it was. I really liked the prologue stuff, except for it just started out of nowhere. As soon as Wonder Woman's but, like the invasion's here, and then it just starts in that but prologue. But it did it just feel had like sexy build up. Lord of the Rings when they're defeating Sauron, and there they were was like seven separate. rings. One was given to yeah. man. One yeah. was given yeah. to the elves. Like Galadriel, just like <laughs> even the the king's crown looked like Sauron's king's crown. And yeah. when I yeah. saw that, I thought the same thing. I was like, that looks like Sauron. That was Zeus in the prologue, yeah, wasn't it? Was Zeus yeah. with the that was like, cool. We finally, and he was bigger than like people. Yeah. That was that I thought was, was really God's cool. He was like a yeah, giant. Man. That's Plus what they should have done with Steppenwolf. Had an actor, and then because they made Zeus look bigger than like the you yeah. saw him next to other soldiers, and he was bigger than them. Mm-hmm. That's what they should have done for Steppenwolf. Yeah. I yeah. like that part a lot. Dude. Yeah, that was. And you got the lantern. The there. lantern. I'm not sure which lantern was that. I didn't. I'm not really good with. Oh, but know. how I cool did that look that. though? How cool did that look with the? I was digging it. When man. they killed the lantern, the ring just like flew away. Yeah, yeah. so tight. Like, did, where did it go? <clears throat> it was too early for Hal Jordan they, though. If they only did that in the beginning of the movie instead of Superman's beard, yeah, that would have been so much better. I think, like if yeah, that you, prologue scene, like in the beginning, blah, and then blah, and blah, then blah. and then you go into the Batman rooftop scene where yeah. he beats up the guy. And and then he's, back to he's Tennessee, baiting, right? he's yeah. baiting a, a, a fucking parademon. You know? they, they should have started off with the prologue yeah, and why made it they really let good. us direct the shit. I know. God. But we always direct it in our heads, so yeah. we just watch the movies in our heads. But anyway, so after after the prologue scene, what else was some really good parts? I mean, um, um the Flash part was kind of cool, but I wanted to see him like saving somebody first before Bruce Wayne gets to him. You know what I'm saying? They, like you just like, oh, the, I, I got to talk to this guy, Flash. They right? had him just drawing that guy with a sharpie, and then <laughs> that's yeah. what they yeah, had that, him do. I wanted a scene of Flash actually in action, being the Flash. In Central City. Yeah. But I I hear you on that point, but they would have had to taken out Barry with his dad in the prison, which I thought yeah, was very because, important. Well, if and they that added was a 30 really more good minutes, scene. Yeah. they could yeah. have spared five yeah. minutes for that Seriously, shit. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it all goes back to the two hours. You know, like. I'm trying to think of some other things that, that were just really good. makes you wonder if they should have just had standalone movies first. The, just to establish the world and it would have taken too long we wouldn't get Justice League you know, for like, another like two yeah, years yeah but is that a bad do you want this no. version of Justice League or no. do you want one that took two more years That's and came right. out way better I, I wanted want the, the, the Snyder Ultimate Edition <laughs> for what for this yeah, yeah I do yeah, too but if they would have set like, up the I other one I didn't really like all the comedy that Josh Whedon put in I have a feeling that the whole Superman coming back I, th- I had a feeling that maybe it was black suit Superman in me too I feel like they hinted at it that's what Kirk said that they shot a whole battle scene of him as Black Suit Superman. How do they know? How is that confirmed, though? I'm not I sure. I mean, all they... I know is that Henry Cavill on the set of the original shoot for Justice League, he posted that <clears throat> picture of, like, the corner of his S, and it was, like, the Black Superman Because remember, there was, Justice League was supposed to be two movies. Yeah. And they fucking compressed two movies into two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Under two hours. Under two oh, hours. man. It's, I miss it. We still go back to we that. We still go back to what bothers us. Yeah. Like, but you know what? It was fun. I mean, like when all like the the tunnel battle sequence when they're under Gotham, that stuff was pretty cool. Oh, I yeah, like that. It was pretty cool, but it goes down to my gripe again. Like Aquaman can't even stop that water. Yeah, yeah, and like it just any the pitchfork he just throws it in people. Like the pitchfork There's doesn't no do lightning anything or anything. Like yeah, like yeah. nothing. <laughs> He's not even like using waves to like fucking take people out and yeah. shit. He's just throwing a pitchfork and then like, trying to get ripped I, apart I think, by fucking I think bugs. the trident is supposed... Because when you see him slam it down, it almost has that tuning fork yeah. sound effect. Yeah. So it's almost like the, the trident is so powerful when he slams he it down. He could have caused Sharknado, dude. Yeah. 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 fucking Sharknado and there's fucking... What's his name? Oh, no. You know what they said about Aquaman? There's going to be Aquaman surfing on a fucking shark in Aquaman, the movie. Nice. He's, he's surfing gonna, on a dude, on a pair of dude, he's gonna, he's Dude, tight. he's going to... They're going to be riding with sharks, he's a man. surfer. You know what's funny, though, too? You saw Jason Momoa and it's like you could tell he's a real life surfer yeah. oh, like yeah. by his form like you could tell and I love the hair flip and he walks in and it's like oh shit oh what about Mommy. that uh, what about that uh, <laughs> he could be in the, Moana <laughs> yeah, the Aquaman Moana. Uh, lasso scene when he's sitting oh, on top that, of one that woman's lasso that was my favorite Whedon moment yeah. yeah that was yeah that was my favorite that was um, really cool like movie. when he was just well, spilling was spilling his guts out we're all gonna die yeah you, you're probably the enemy. You're, you're clumsy. You don't even have superpowers, and she, she's just beautiful. Yeah. But me, you know what? I don't want to die. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot to live for. There's, a, and then they're like, you're sitting yeah. on the lasso, and that, that dude, that was so fucking funny. Wonder Woman, that was beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
That's beautiful. That was, oh, man, that was so And he funny. turns to Flash. Like, you tell anybody I'm going to just hit every single piranha that I know. Yeah, and then, and then Flash is just like, I didn't hear anything after we're all going to die. And yeah. the thing is, you know he wasn't lying. You know he heard yeah. that. Like, he just got really scared just thinking about dying. That's why I re- like, oh, man. The Flash, he, he, had, he had more good than, than I didn't like this. the troop carrier, though. Yeah, it was too like that, f- that felt like Quinjet to me. It wait, looks wait, like which one? The their their air, their fucking oh, ship that they yeah. were flying the whole. I time. wanted to see an invisible plane. <laughs> you know what I wanted? I I, I wanted it to be a fucking in the shape of a bat. Yeah, that would have been cool. Like so a big bomber, but like a the bat sh- plane bat? is what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> the bat. Why, yeah, why wouldn't he have like the a bat Quinjet, plane, dude? Like a fucking. I Quinjet. did. Here's another good things too, though. When they incorporated the Batman theme song and the Superman theme song. Oh, yeah. It's good and bad for me. <laughs> and it was like... The, uh, the no reason why it's bad for me is because they didn't use it properly. They didn't use it properly. They, yeah, but like, I still love the fact that they used it. I, no, no I do. I, I thought it was really cool how they did like the darker version during the Superman yeah. fight scene with the Justice League. That was cool. But at the end... That last shot of Superman when he's Clark Kent and he's walking down the street. All of a sudden, he yeah, goes down an alley. That, that that should have been built up right there. <laughs> yeah. And, like, he, you should have seen, like, him look up at the sky like there was danger. All of a sudden, you just see him, like, in Zack Snyder slow motion, just turn down the alley, slowly take off the glasses that the John Williams score yeah. starting to build up. And then he just, like, rips off his shirt. And and just, one thing, I'm going to go back so to my rad. favorite thing, Wonder Woman. They didn't use her score. We needed more Wonder Woman I score. I know. I don't know why they didn't use it. Well, that not only that, me. when they did use it, it wasn't the Hans Zimmer one. It was an orchestrated do 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 do. It didn't oh. have that it's raw that metal like the junk 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 junk. It didn't dun, have that dun, that meaty dun. violin. Uh, yeah, like, right when she did like the double mm-hmm. cross and then she pushed back Steppenwolf, man. That's when it should have hit it. Yeah. That's that's like, every time you yeah. see her fighting, I want to hear that fucking yeah. song. Dude, they needed more. See, Doomsday could have been in this one along with Steppenwolf, yeah. man. This one would have made sense. This would make sense. Yeah. I no, I would not. I still want a Doomsday, Doomsday for a like solo. Some, somebody strong. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I mean, give us somebody Another, fucking like, strong, Make, make at least three strong. Because so, it doesn't yeah. justify Justice League. Yeah. Just, they're, they're battling one villain. That it could be one superhero movie battling one villain. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. Like that could Steppenwolf just could have been a Superman movie. He Superman it could have killed was... all the parademons in less than a minute and then just beat the shit out of fucking Steppenwolf and that was it. Like it was Power Rangers. It yeah. was one little band of group <laughs> fighting one dude. Going back to the gripes, I like I want to like love it more. But really. I know I do want. I wish it was great, <clears throat> but. When I did see it, like when when you're watching it, it's hard not to smile when you see these heroes on screen because mm-hmm. the actors did do a really good job. I don't have any problems with what the actors did. What do you think about the the Flash stumbling on Wonder Woman's booze by saving her? She's just like that was so that, that was, was so innocent. Yeah. That, yeah. that did not call for any type and of controversy. And immediately jumped up and kind of looked around and like I see I hear what they're saying about. You know, either Whedon um, sexualizing Wonder Woman, but it's like he showed a lot of dude ass too. I was just you know thinking I mean? that people were hopping on dude Wonder Woman crotches, Woman's butt. dude, yeah. dude and, and bellies. No, every Seriously, I started noticing it. it. Every single scene, there was a butt shot of a dude and Wonder Woman. They every had like scene. in the in in the Gotham precinct with like a lot uh, of pelvic. Like, no, hold on. In the Gotham yeah, precinct with with uh, Gordon, yes. and he was talking to that black cop. Like, and then there was a white shot when Gordon was walking away, and it was just this dude's ass, and it was just like right in camera. Nobody and then I started noticing. About that. Yeah, and then when they all jumped out of the the bat plane when they got into the tunnel or the the crawler, mm-hmm. every like there was bat butt. There was Wonder Woman butt. There was Aquaman. Yeah. But no, there was a uh, cy- cyborg, cyborg butt. There was fly- uh, Flash butt. And there was all like, but I'm like, there's a lot of butt in this movie. <laughs> they do. Yeah, and like, let's go into Superman. You smell good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you saw Aquaman with his shirt off, showing off his abs. Yeah. It's like I am, I am kind of, I'm so done with Amy Adams as Lois Lane. I don't like her as Lois I've Lane. I've never liked her as Lois and Lane. And I'm sick of their, I'm sick of their actress. chemistry. She's just, no, she, she's a great actress. She's just not Lois Lane. She's man. not I'm sorry. Lois Lane for this. It's she, not th- their whole emo clark and, and lois well, thing is just so better? tiresome well, hold on it's just so tiresome that whole mm-hmm. melancholy of superman and lois lane is always just like this emo music instead of being inspirational or playful i mean like you're supposed to care about these couples couples have fun they have fun they they joke around with each other <laughs> they you play never see them. and drink hot chocolate yeah. who would be a perfect lois lane for you then uh a good lois if lane. not if not amy adams who would you? It would. Ha- you would have to go with the brunette, man. Yeah. Like it has. No, to be the a auburn hair doesn't even bother me it because that was me a that was. Bit. I mean, with the right with a. I mean, what if it was like Jessica Chastain? 
Yeah, but like she that that's not. I mean, she just or not. Oh, but that, I just threw that out there. Not really. We have a spunky. Yeah. It would, I don't or at least know, put man. her like in a black Beachy. wig or something. Make her black. Like Lois Lane. Make her black? It, black Lois well, Lane would be cool. Yeah, because most of the um most of you know, the, the superheroes' girlfriends or whatever, they're usually like blonde, they're redhead, they're something. See now you yeah. got me thinking of a black Lois Lane. That's what, what I'm what saying. Was... I don't care. I just want one that, that just, would be cool. I just you want one I just want somebody who reads as Lois Lane, not like not Amy Adams. <laughs> yeah. I just can't stand her as Lois Lane anymore. I, I can't even think of an actress that could be Lois Lane right now. Because um, I've always wanted Terry Hatcher to be Lois Lane. Oh, Terry, Terry Hatcher, I like that show. She Lois is and the Clark. best Lois Lane for me, I guess. Like, the, like, klutzy, but like smart and like, you know, and like, hot. just like, doesn't think that he's like a Kate Beckinsale the... type of yeah. maybe Kate Lois Beckinsale, Lane. Maybe. Kate Beckinsale, you know what I mean? Phenomenal. Like a, a, a like Kate her. Beckinsale Lois Lane would be cool. Jennifer Connelly. Oh, uh, dude, that Jennifer would have been. Connelly she would have been. been but I think she. Uh, no, but I think she's yeah. a little bit too old though. She's a little bit too old for for well, Amy Lois Adams Lane. looks old. Yeah, the Amy <laughs> Adams looks old. Like, you can see like yeah. a little. She got lines well, around, I want like one that's the same sleep. age as she like, like the same age as Diane Lane. Tired. <laughs> I yeah. want a Lois Lane that's like just starting to get a good career, not one she's like a Pulitzer Prize runner for so many things. I want like everything. I'm like, if this is Superman being Superman for the first time, it should be Lois Lane finally starting to get like Brie good Larson? articles. But nah, Brie Larson would have been good. She would have been a really good Lois Lane, but yeah. she's Marvel. Marvel. Already. She's yeah, Miss Marvel. She's Miss Marvel. Um, she got branded. But somebody like that. I mean, because like Brie Larson, she's a fantastic actress. Like, I really like her acting. Like, she's really good. Who else and is she's one beautiful, of the top, you know? Like, women acting right now. Not even top. Like, who? Because I don't watch like all these teeny I know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think. If you want to go young, do you guys remember that 10 Cloverfield Lane, the girl that looks like Lee? Br- uh, oh, Lee? She would be pretty good. Huh? Not bad. She would be pretty good. She was on uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. She would yeah, be pretty good. Um, what's her name again? Wouldn't be bad. She's but no, good. but it's got to be somebody that's just like yes, like somebody like Brie Larson, Kate. Back, like you just look in the like total Lois Lane, like total package. Like somebody that has like the presence of like. Of... I, I never mind Dallas. What is it, Bryce Dallas Howard or whatever? Um, she's I not wouldn't... bad. No. She's Gwen Stacy already. She's no. Yeah, I I, yeah, I would not Gwen want Stacy. her. I don't like her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't pick her, but she wouldn't be bad either. If they said that they cast her, I'd be like, okay. So this is a tough question then. Yeah, it is so, kind of a tough. Like, we yeah. can't even think of no. a proper low slave. Well, I mean, you have to do your – you have to, I yeah. don't know. You just have to start watching and just – feel like because they have to it's not just like who looks like lois lane it has to be somebody who can embody yeah. everything it's that, that personality lane is. Person that tenacity that has like, a, like, like cute for, for, personality for this, it's like, like for i don't universe good. lois yeah. lane though like because anybody could play lois lane if you give him the right like writing and the right character yeah it's the young actress for this coming out for this um universe it's just so hard to picture a proper lois lane but yeah because they haven't gotten quite right this universe <laughs> so that's what's kind of hard it's like to be able to lock one of these people down. I mean, I don't know. I, don't I but know. I definitely definitely not Amy Adams. Yeah, let's <laughs> like, go back to that. But I yeah. do like the Kate Beckinsale. So. The Kate Beckinsale would be that's a good close. Lois. Yeah, but something she's older like though. She's yeah, the same age as saying. Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, there's something like that. But Jennifer Connelly would have been. But Jen, been Jennifer good. Connelly fits more this universe. Yes. As as uh, yep. Lois Lane. Yeah, I agree. I she agree. really does. That's she's really good. So what else is good about this movie? Um. I would just say their chemistry together. That's the, the last characters. of it. Good the characters. Good casting. Good casting. I felt like they finally got every character right except for Batman. Batman took a couple of steps backward for me yeah. in this movie. What, uh, I don't Aquaman. Think it's his character is his writing. Aquaman yeah, was a lot uh, better than I anticipated. You know, because Aquaman was always to me always kind of boring in the comics. He was whatever. They casted Jason Momoa. I was like, I'm yeah, interested. So you talk to fish. Yeah. yeah. And then you see him, and it's like, ah, oh, Surfer Aquaman is it's so cool, man. Like, like, My like, man. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I, I like, I didn't think I was going to like him. I thought he was going to be kind of like, oh, he's going to be cool. Like kind of douchey? Oh, well, not douchey. I just thought it was just going to be a lot of, like, yeah, my man. And you weren't going to care enough, even though, like, they, they, they didn't really give us enough to care about it's him. Because of that lasso moment. That lasso yeah, moment. That lasso literally moment. personified yeah. him. So yeah. whether that but was even Snyder when, like, or Whedon. In, in Atlantis, job. when he's talking to Mara under, in that water bubble, and that that conversation between them was just like forced exposition. It was just like, just, this is who you are. This is who your background is. Momoa and Amber Heard, man. Like There's just, nothing against her. I like her. Yeah, she's not I bad. just thought that you know, the, them fighting Steppenwolf underwater was underpowered. Like They should have kicked Steppenwolf's ass. It's 
it, they're fighting him on their territory. Yeah, on turf. like they with the, with the, he like Steppenwolf should have Loki'd that scene where he was just he was going to be the distraction, let them beat him up yeah. while the parademons are getting yeah. off with the mother box. That's what it should have been. Well, that's the thing. They don't, never ask us to direct the shit. Man. No, see, that's why they need to listen to our podcast so that way they can hear our ideas. <laughs> Get so much. Uh, yeah, well, we, we not only would we be able to save you a hundred million dollars, we'd also give you a movie that's at least in the nine. We could do a better sock puppet story than <laughs> sock puppet Justice League. Sock puppet league. Yeah. The main bad is Luigi. The puppet league. <laughs> Luigi yeah. can be Steppenwolf. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Step and pug. Step and pug. pug. <laughs> Um, look more realistic. I'm trying to think of anything else cool. Uh, like that was it. I mean, it's just the characters together. The the post credit scenes. <laughs> the Let's talk about the post. Scenes were good, yeah. um, the fight scenes were good, but the post credit scenes. The one with a uh, flash. The one with Flash Superman. and Superman was great. The other one was okay, but I feel like they could have done that better. I'm just not life. a big fan of Deathstroke. Like, why Deathstroke? Um, I like Deathstroke, but Deathstroke's not that powerful at all, though. He's, he's a Teen he's, Titans he's villain. Like, He's like Batman too. Like everybody's like, "Oh, you have no powers. You're just a fucking You know what did look weird? He's gonna though, fight Batman. Is when he took off his helmet, his hair color changed. It looked so weird. It looked a, it looked a little weird. Yeah, like, it, it is the character blonde. in the comics. Yeah, though, yeah, I get it. It's just like it because you're so natural. used to him with dark yeah, hair. It didn't look real. And when you see it, it's just like, wait, what is that? Is that part of is the side of his head shaved? Like, what is this? It felt like it wasn't his hair. I would rather to have a fucking instead of that. Like, end credit, I would rather have a Green Lantern or a Martian Manhunter. Yeah, I know. See, the only thing is that the second that you saw um, the Lanterns fighting in the flashback, that's how I knew they're not doing Green Lantern. Oh, Martian Manhunter. Maybe that You know what pissed me off, too? So when they had the trailer, remember, and they showed Jeremy Irons, and he's like, you return. And everybody kept saying, oh, is that Superman or is that Green Lantern? That scene was... In even the it fucking movie, yeah. dude. It, it was cut out. Movie. They Star Wars speculating. That shit. <laughs> but we're here's why I did when I did see this. that prologue. I thought we were gonna get Green Lantern later on because, like, all right, they showed the lanterns. I'm like, I bet you they're just introducing it. But then when he killed one of those lanterns and you see the ring fly off, I'm like, ooh, that could be that yeah. lantern could be coming into this movie. Hal Jordan. No, I, I figured th- because you know why? If it would have just been that alien one that died with the ring, but no, they showed a dude flying doing it too they, they showed like, they okay, showed multiple ones yeah and that's when i said okay they're not showing them then no what they would what i would have a feeling how they would do the the green lantern in this was that it was going to be the one that hal jordan gets the ring from so it'd be it would be a green lantern who dies he would have been be- too the, young though because they was, no no it's like that, what's that, that, yeah, that what's that no but what's that purple ago. alien that hal jordan gets the ring from because the alien dies and then hal jordan gets the ring that was a different that was a different lantern but that, yeah. But what I'm saying is that lantern, that purple alien lantern, should have been in this, and then died, and then the ring goes off, and that could be like a set, like a setup for you know. Yeah, but lantern. but like what Anton said, it was five thousand years ago, so no way how Jordan yeah. would have gotten it. No, I'm not saying that ring would go to Hal Jordan. Exactly what what I'm saying, saying was that ring that flew off yeah. went to that purple alien oh. who then shows up at the end of Justice League and oh, dies yeah. during the main battle, yeah. and then that ring goes off to Hal Jordan. But remember, under two hours. That's yeah. a waste of five seconds. They don't want to show. That's more yeah. than five seconds. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, yeah. It was just sloppy editing. I just can't believe that they fucking let this movie get like I that. like how Kevin doesn't want us to go back to the gripes, and here he no. is doing another gripe. No, no because it, it but is. But I do because... like the intro, though. The Snyder intro, the music intro. That, yeah. Yeah, that was all right. That was, cool. that was all right. It was very depressing. I like that. Everything about Snyder is depressing. Like movies. Yeah. Well, you, can't blame, you can't blame the guy. Oh, no, not at all. You can't no. blame the guy. I mean, like, and that sucks for him, too, having to deal with that whole issue with his daughter. And <laughs> Yeah, Augustina said something stupid about that. But um, it, it was just, like, the, him having to deal with that on top of making this movie and the top of coming off of, like, what people thought of his other movies, that was a battle for him, man. Like, I really want to see a documentary about what went on behind the scenes during Justice League. And I would like to see, see the more, footage. Don't you? You, you I want do. the extended cut. You I want do. the Zack Snyder cut. Dude, I, want, want I do. I really do. Because I, I'm going to... I want, I want, I want to see this movie again. Like, I will go see it later today. I don't care. Like, I had fun watching it because it was fast paced, and so it wasn't like bad, like where it's just drawn out. I'm like, there's something in every scene that I did like. I just hated how it was all put together, and it was just like you could just tell that it was just chopped the fuck up by the studio, and and Snyder and Whedon's. Oh, they tried really hard to make it feel like one movie, but you could tell Snyder and Whedon. And a lot of movie. it was the CGI. And some man. of it, some of it worked well, and some of them didn't mesh well together. You could tell what CGI was rushed, and yeah. that's what gives me the thing of okay. And I guess that was just a Whedon shot. 
You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it's because the it thing is, when obvious. you budget for a shot, then you have to redo it. That means it lowers the quality mm-hmm. down. Every time you redo something, it will lower the quality down because like you didn't pay for the f- same amount. Yeah. You know, like it's like, oh, you want to do this, and then next thing you change it. Oh, we change the story. We have to make it. Then the quality goes down. Mm-hmm. Everything goes down if you start changing stuff. That's why pre-pro, pre-production. Yeah. Because it's so yeah. important because you have to pay attention to story well, they structure. They scrapped the pre-production because they had to change the movie in middle editing. Yeah, no, yeah. no, for sure. And that's what goes back to what the theme of this podcast is, is about story structure. And that's why you have to make sure you follow the proper story structure. you got to have the right character set up, the character development, and the right payoff. If you're going to do this like build plant and pay- yeah, if you're going to do the plant and payoff, they, they planted a lot of seeds in this movie, and we saw no payoff. They started the production of Justice League right when Batman v Superman opened up. And that was a huge mistake. That was a really bad mistake. They shouldn't have tried to course correct. They should have, they should have postponed it. And, they and should if, have had balls. They should yeah. have Han Solo. They should have ball, had balls, but they should have postponed. They shouldn't have like done course correcting in the middle of shit. They should have said, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna stop. Let's reevaluate the movie." Han Solo. Let's, yeah, let's Han Solo it, dude. Yeah. Well, what do you mean Han Solo it? Like what they did with Ron Howard. He came in and he reshot oh, yeah. the entire movie. Yeah. Like literally, almost reshot the entire well, the movie. The thing is about movie, they're all fucking money hungry fucking. But executives. but the thing they're is, but the thing is, Han Solo had already been shooting, and they didn't realize that there was trouble until the movie was basically done. Yeah. And then they had him come in. That what I'm saying is, as soon as they knew that they wanted the universe to change they should have postponed the production of justice league and give them a chance to actually sit down and reorganize Evaluate, it to the, yeah. and say this is what we want this is how it should be so at least Zack snyder could give us a full version of what he had instead of chopped up by two directors i mean like Zack snyder didn't even he hasn't even seen the finished product he just came out and apologizing to fans for not uh being able to finish it he didn't apologize for the movie he said i'm sorry to all the fans that i didn't he get to even watch the movie and he hasn't even seen it he goes i haven't i, I haven't to. seen i haven't seen it since i walked away from the movie Man. and we'll never we'll never get what he what he was uh doing for that movie i mean because who knows that if here. they even when this comes out on blu-ray if they're even going to have what he shot as deleted scenes and that's even what i'm saying about whedon too i don't even blame whedon for this because he did it with you avengers one anybody. he succeeded blame the fucking ishikawa or ishikara whatever kevin tushihara tushihara Dude. Douchey horror. <laughs> all, all they're worried about is making money. They're not making, like, quality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't gamble for quality. Like, they do something and they fucking fall back on it because they, they listen to critics. They listen to whatever. Be ballsy and make the movie you want to make. Jose put this perfectly. Jose is another too high McFly regular. Yeah. We'll get, we're going to have him on the podcast soon. But he was saying Warner Brothers... They they look too much into the critics' response and they overcompensate yeah. for what the critics are saying, and it's just so obvious. Yeah, but like, I do like their new direction that they're going. I want to see more of this world properly because Jeff Johns he's basically in control now. He know yeah. like he's so. So let me ask you this: Why do you have so much confidence in him? I, I'm not saying you're wrong at all. I'm just saying well for because the he was basically in charge of the rebirth of the DC Comics. He made DC Comics good again. Mm-hmm. He he reinvigorated it and made and do people are buying up their comics and they're reading them. Their story's good. He helped with the the Flash TV show. He knows these characters. The everything that's what he's everything saying. that mm-hmm. he's in charge of does really well. And so they brought him in after BVS. And they they started consulting. He uh, he, he got to co-write. Him he he co-wrote. He helped. Did did he co-write Wonder Woman? I think he was the main producer for Wonder Woman. Yeah, but Justice yeah, League is when they when, when he it. started working. Yeah. But he didn't have control over Justice League. Their course correction were basically off of like what he said needed to be done. But it wasn't the studio man. Like it was like it wasn't Jeff Johns' fault. This movie was not Jeff Johns' fault. Not like really, all the good parts all. of this movie probably came from him. He said we need to get people to believe in Superman again. He goes if we want. He even said if we want to fix this universe, we need to start over with Superman and make him good. We need a good solid Superman because he's the basis of the, the entire heart of he's the heart of DC so what where do you think so if he's the one running this right would you have wanted to to um, have the Zack Snyder version of Justice League or the Whedon version I would want the Jeff Johns version no no, no. and I mean from beginning to end no I, I mean like he's running it but what but these guys are directing it oh so which one would you want it from and and we're assuming all the way from pre-production to post I they would ran the entire gamut. I would say 
I would say he would work well d- direct if if Zack Snyder was under his guidance of like where to take the characters without hindering what he has done before, because it's always been about hope. They 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 they, they mentioned that a lot. It's always been about hope. We have to bring that back. It's okay to have your characters dark for a little bit, like how they were introduced with Man of Steel. I like I I thought that the tone in Man of Steel was proper for at, at that point of. Superman's life because he doesn't know who he is. He is like I'm mad. Like I I'm come from another world. My the only father I do know is dead. I have these powers I don't know what to do with. I don't know. Like that tone was perfect for Man of Steel, but it needs to evolve. And I felt like Jeff John if Jeff Johns could have helped. Yeah, see, with I, Zack Snyder in this. That's line. why I think I would end up going with Whedon just because Avengers one freaking nailed it. Yeah. Right. Avengers two didn't, and that's what gives me a little bit of hesitancy. But um, Zack Snyder. He did Man of Steel, and again, it was solid, super solid, but it didn't quite... I felt like the tone could have been a little different. I would have... Then like, BVS came out, and it was a disaster. Then, then we hear Justice League, and we're not liking what we're doing. So it's like, he's just almost going too dark for Superman. I would have... Here's what I would have liked. I would have liked Joss Whedon to write the script, the entire script, from beginning as soon as they brought... Uh, as soon as Batman v Superman came out... And people didn't like it and they want to course correct. They should have postponed Justice League. They should have brought in Joss Whedon and said, can you write us a good Justice League movie and have Snyder direct it that's, with Joss yeah, Whedon. Yeah, that would have been perfect. That's what, that, that's, would have been that would have been perfect. Yeah. Because, like, and working with Jeff Johns, I felt like those three, if you have, if you have the eyes of, of Zack Snyder Die and you have, you have the brains of Jeff, Jeff Johns and the heart of Joss Whedon's dialogue and his chemistry with, like, how he can write the characters, that, perfect. that would have been that's a perfect exactly have Justice been. League movie. See, that really would have done. WB execs. That's what we should have done. That they should have postponed say, it. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> you should have postponed Because I, I really, like, people shit on Age of Ultron. I like Age of it's Ultron. Not bad, dude. I didn't think it was a bad movie. I enjoyed Avengers Age of Ultron. Was it as good as the first Avengers? No. Fuck no. But it was a good sequel. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. No. That's, That's why we all have it. to accept that Wonder Woman 2 is not going to be as good as 1. Well, well especially it's when the it's the same, same director. director. Yeah. That's like, it I, makes I'm starting to nervous. Like, like, Guardians 1 is not as better Guardians. than Guardians 2. But yes. it's still okay. But, you got to switch out the directors. Here's the thing, though. Sometimes you had some um, anomalies. Like Deadpool. Like you have. <laughs> no, 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 no. Deadpool has a different director. Yeah. That's a good thing. But I was going to say James Cameron, Terminator. Terminator 2, way better than Part 1. Oh, yeah. But, Things again, though, different, like, though. So you, you only get those rare anomalies that that works. L- look at Jurassic World and Lost World. Lost World sucks. Oh, I could talk about Jurassic World forever, too, but I'm not dude. going to. <laughs> Where are you going? Luigi. Oh. oh, yeah. So, anyway, so that's how I feel about it. So if we would have been able to mix the two, that would have been phenomenal. Nah, uh, like a Jeff Johns yeah. produce, yeah. Weedon written, yep. and directed and Zack by Snyder. Snyder. Directed. That would have been fucking perfect. Zack Snyder is such a great, like... He's a great visual director. He's a great visual director. He's a great so DP. He, that's what I was going to say. He, he's a great DP. Now, imagine if they had, like... Um, Not a DP. More like a... <coughs> he just doesn't get the best out of his performances, like, acting-wise. Yeah. He, he's a shot director. He's a visual director. He's not the acting director like a Scorsese is. You know I think I mean? he's just like, um, if it's written no, by well, him, like, he writes things differently. Yeah. If it's Whedon written, he could direct acting. Like, all the acting that yeah. I've seen him, like, Watchmen I was just so don't see, nicely I, acted. I don't see him do um, a- comedy, though. I don't really see him do a lot of comedy. No, but the thing yeah. is, that's what would be interesting, is Zack Snyder's view on how to shoot that. How, on how to be, shoot because like Whedon he already that. started with his own script and already knowing to make it funny, so that was it. But imagine if Zack Snyder didn't have to worry that much about the story, yeah. and he just focused on what Jeff Johns and Joss mm. Whedon were doing together, and cre- like Zack Snyder would shoot the fuck out of that and make it look amazing. Like yeah. Zack Snyder's oh, yeah. action is my favorite action fucking comedy. Way better than stuff. Michael Bay. Way- <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael Bay just like right, let's move the camera Explosions. for no reason, but like Snyder's purpose, he moves the camera with purpose. It's like from one action to another scene. Like and his shots move. are so dynamic. Like you could tell mm. the one where Batman's riding in in the Batmobile. Remember, and you see the bullets mm. like hitting, bouncing off the ground. That was very Snyder. Total Snyder, dude. Like, you could tell mm. it was so nice. He uses movement properly to depict. See action. now here, you know what would have been dope? Imagine if Snyder would have done a Transformers movie. Oh, that shit would have been fucking Zach phenomenal. Snyder, he could do a good. He could do a. Imagine if he did Transformers. And written one. by Josh Reed again. <laughs> written by, yes, yeah. that would have been fucking phenomenal. That would be. That would I be would a good. I love that Transformers, good. man. That was scratch yeah, my. Get the right my recipes. 80s. See, the thing is, when too many cooks in the kitchen like try to like do, like 
the same thing, it doesn't work well. So that means what you're saying yeah. really is that... That's why you got to get a pastry chef you know, to cook the dessert. You're saying Joss Whedon and Zack Snyder need to be the new buddy comedy bromance is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. They need if, to work together. If they linked up and they would have the best movies ever. <laughs> yeah, get the best writer, the best cinematographer, get the best director, and get the best producer, put yeah. it yes. together, and that makes a perfect meal. You can plug in different actors, and yeah. you'll be good because like, you'll get something yeah. great out of it. I, I have a feeling that James Wan and Jeff Johns are on the same page because because uh, um, James Wan is a huge Aquaman fan. He loves Aquaman, yeah. and that's why he was like really excited to do that. Yeah. But I enjoyed Jason Momoa a lot. I Jason do. Momoa is really good. Yeah. I, I liked him a lot. I liked his badass. He looked like a badass. He looked like a badass. You know he's I mean? actually a really, really nice guy. He's like yeah. He's like that Korg guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, not Porg. Uh, really, really big, so but fucking menacing. We're going to escape on this big ship. You want to come with us? Very, very nice. Yeah. Um, he just looks like a badass, man. The eyes, like those contacts were dope. Yeah. And he has that real scar in his eyebrow. Like that. He still looks like such a badass, man. Yeah, and, and actually, have you guys seen the... Um, I don't know if it was leaked, but it was uh, James Wan's design for the Aquaman suit. Have you seen that? No, that they're using for Aquaman. It's not the one that he wore. It's not. It's not the one from Justice League, and it's more. Actually, let me see if I can pull it up. I'll let you guys talk about it. But it's more. It's more comic book um, friendly. It's more from it's the like comic book. Like a sweater books. that's like so orange, like the orange and green. Hold on, with me. Remember his sweater was like kind of like yellowy yeah. and like with yeah. scales. Well, it should be orange and green, right? Yeah. That's his stuff. Um, but yeah, and then of course they play Iggy Thumb. Bum, ba, na, 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 while he's there yeah. drinking the. Da, na, 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 and I was like, good fucking music, bro. Apparently it's it's gonna be like this. Have you seen this, Dan? That's I not got the that. one from Justice. League? No, that's the one from Aquaman. That's gonna be the Aquaman movie. Uh, yeah, it suit. is straight up yellow and green. Yeah, I mean like green. it wasn't a, it, like his suit kind of seemed muddy in this. I mean you could see the different color tones from. Yeah. The, that the, is Aquaman. The, but but yeah. the one from James Wan, it, it looks. I mean, it still looks like it's made out of the same material that the Justice League suit is on, but it's not as I got many. A question after that. It's not as many uh, different like armored sections. It looks like there's armor underneath the skin, and it and it's like the top half is like gold, and the bottom so like half a hard is like shell, green. Like, like a turtle hard shell. It's yeah. It's like the the, the two hard separation of the different colors, like the classic Aquaman. I kind of want to see him talk to fish. Mm. that'd be funny so my question is you know like when we saw the trailers right like mm -hmm. you know how like Snyder was promoting Justice League as like a rock kind of like template like they have real music playing in the background like yeah. come together like do you think they made a change to, to yep. put a score after? absolutely after well, it's usually absolutely want to know why is because the score is not as developed that score is forgettable i can't yeah. even hum i can't even hum a justice league score yeah. all i know is just the individual i all i know is wonder woman's superman's and um batman doesn't even have one they just used the 1989 batman Danny and they barely teased because that was the best part of suicide squad is the music oh yeah the music yeah. that drove they had the, good the, music the, the they had music. good music like do you think like the original justice league the snyder justice league would have just had music instead of score, like more of like that, like I don't know, but that, he that didn't do Suicide Squad. Do you so I don't think know. after Zack Snyder is going to be done mm. with? I mean, because he's let's just be clear, he's not making another DC movie. Who's Snyder? He's Snyder. not going to be no, making he's another done. movie he's, for a while. He's not. He's not going to be making a movie for a while, and he's mm. not going to be. And he, I don't think he's ever going to do a DC movie again. No, I think he's done. But I think he's going to come forward at some point with like all the stories about what he w was planning for the movie. I mean, it has to. There's no way. That we, we will just, it just never depends know what if he's he that type of guy to like talk about stuff. I he seems he very could. private. And, I, don't know. I, I no, I, I meant talking about like what his ideas was for the movie, not what oh. was going on behind oh. the scenes as much. Like more of like what it, you were in a clause of like non disclosure. Yeah, you know, yeah. So when after that's done, eventually, I think we'll get like a good sit down with him where he he's talking. Why don't we about, make a documentary about this? That would be kind of cool. Well, we, we could we, we, gotta, we could. Uh, we just got to call him. That's it. Yeah. I, I just got. Let, let me just I shoot him a text dial, real quick. Like, yeah. Well, that's why we need listeners text. first. We need yeah. listeners first, so we have numbers because Zack Snyder's been on a uh, podcast of a friend of ours we're not going to talk about it that much but he's been he's been on one of their podcasts and so it seems like he would definitely do stuff like this but i mean we just need some not hopefully you know we're getting return listeners and uh if you're Can you tell zach Snyder's face like 
dude, you should have this Whedon write for you. Yeah, no, yeah. I wouldn't Because you that. suck as a writer, but you're a great visual no, director. No, <laughs> oh, man, I wouldn't want him to, because I, I would want to get as much information out of him as possible. I wouldn't want to. fucking pump, dude. Yeah, yeah man. I wouldn't want to piss him off and, and make him shy off of answering a question. I just, like, I do want to know what happened with Justice League and you what know he was going to do. I would love to see a Snyder Marvel movie. I would you know Marvel's going to keep him, like, they're going to make it the Marvel way, but he's going to add his... Fucking Snyder vision. You know what Zach? It. You know what Zach needs to do next? What he needs? He needs to take a little bit of time off and just like just Recoup. get back back into the creative. I need to make a movie mm-hmm. and do something one hundred percent completely original with a good writer. And he should do it like like don't do a huge budget. Do something a little medium. Do a medium sized like budget. A I would do, like, yeah, a like a three hundred. I would like to like see a, a fun type of sci fi. I would, but the thing is, what I would like to see Zack Snyder do, would tackle something that takes place in our world, not so much like a three hundred world or like the Watchmen. No, no, world. no for sure. I, I, I would want to see a movie like that. Like yeah, a, I would. Wa- that I would love a sci-fi type of movie from well, Zack Snyder. Uh, that sci-fi would be. Dope, well, send man. him a script to Ladybug Man. Let's see what happens. Ladybug Man. <laughs> he's a superhero chick dude. See what he might do be with done that. with superheroes though. He's done with superheroes. He's never done with superheroes. He's a big fucking. He is. Anyone can get him out of doing this. Gonna be Ladybug Man. What if a Snyder Star Wars? Snyder, uh, that would be bad. like a standalone Star Wars movie. Yeah, I, mean, I would watch that a standalone Star Wars yeah. movie would be pretty. Like yeah. a Star Wars yeah. story, Snyder. You know, what are you guys think about Ryan Johnson taking over for a new trilogy, like his own standalone trilogy? That's, oh, that's not what connected. Music, like, that's too. not connected to the Skywalker storyline. Well, well, that's what because that's what tells me that Ray is not Luke's daughter because not she, because it said that there those characters are going to be in his new trilogy. But it's going to explore a lot of other people in the galaxy. But like no, but they're going to be they're going to be ah, <coughs> they're going to be Skywalker. in those movies. Yeah, I I, I I think I, I agree. I I think she's a Skywalker, but I think which Skywalker? I think, but it gives me confidence though of looking at it and saying Episode Eight must be freaking dope. Then if they're giving this guy his own trilogy, because everybody kept saying, "Why is he not doing nine? Why is he not doing nine? And you know, and he would say, "Oh, he's burned out. He only wants to focus what on one right now." Ray is. No. Is Han's daughter with another woman? <laughs> Could be. Oh, damn. That'd be pretty cool. But she has Remember, the oh, you know what had cool? the, fa- the fatherly the back-to-back. You know what would be cool to see Zack Snyder direct what? would be um, the play mode story in Battlefront 2. Oh. That story, if Zack Snyder did that story... That, that would be, be cool because now we're, that, we're in Star Wars there. Let's talk about Battlefront. Now. Uh, no, yeah, well, because it it, it, it was just released yesterday yeah. too. The Nothing same day makes as Justice us League. More happy after bashing Justice League, like talking about Star Wars. Talk yeah, about Star Wars. So no, I mean, it, it was time. released yesterday, the same day as Justice League coming out, and. Like I don't know if you guys played the first Battlefront, but it was just online multiplayer. I mean, like there were offline missions you could do by yourself, but it was uh, you had to put it down after a while. But then this one has a single player campaign, and the story in that was like fun. Like the gameplay is okay. I wish it was more of an open world, Dude. but the actual storyline was really cool. Dude, it was dope. Dude, and the me watching you play it, it feels like I'm immersed yeah. in Star Wars, watching a Star Wars movie. Because their story so aspects, good. like the actual movie parts of the video game, are really cool. I really love that, that story. That character is. Very, very good. The Inferno Squadron. Yeah, the Inferno. Inferno Squad. I love from the droid the on her back. The elite, man, like stormtrooper, so... like <laughs> that was Navy Seal, dope. like squad. Dude, you know? and, she then had then, a pet and then Imperial turn, droid. Yeah, and then and, and then turn against the Empire because she doesn't like how it went yeah. after the Emperor died, and so she joins the rebellion, and that was just like fucking so cool dude, to see. Like it was, was really cool. That's a good story, dude. It was we a good story. But, and and here's the thing is, because it did a lot of fan service, too, because it was its own story that didn't have the main characters in it. Yeah. But then there were levels where she's interacting or another character's interacting with, like, Luke, Luke Skywalker. All of a sudden, you're Luke Skywalker for uh, a level, and you're running around with a lightsaber, and you're just taking shit was down. Was it the He's green lightsaber? Forward. Yeah, dude. Uh, it was Return favorite. of the... Because the, the story yeah, takes place right outfit. at the end of, um, uh, of uh, Return favorite. of the Jedi. Because it's right at the end that of Return the of the Jedi. That was the best Luke, dude, when he had all black and he had that green lightsaber yeah. Return. And um, and, and then you get to play as Han Solo, and Chewbacca, yes. and Lando, Princess Leia. You get to play so all those characters. So are you trying to talk us out of, like, do you, are you trying to end this podcast right now so we can go play? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, I don't have. Oh, did you buy it? Not yet. Oh no, he, he didn't buy it. We could just go buy it right now. <laughs> the deluxe edition. <clears throat> the deluxe edition. edition. It's it's fun. It was it's definitely a fun play and it's fun to immerse yourself in that world because we were a little let down Dude, about Justice League. Of that, though, yeah. 
Yeah, that was cool. That yeah. was sick. But we, we were a little let down by Justice League. But ju- we're let down by Justice League, and we have a little bit of uh, real hope to look forward for, which is The Last now Jedi. Now it's The Last Jedi. Now it's going to be Star Wars. That means Wars. we're doing all Star Wars talk until the lead-up and, the, and yeah. the conclusion of The Last Jedi. I don't want to get too much into it because we are going to yeah, have yeah. future Star Wars episodes. Yeah. But, yeah, let's... Let's talk about a little bit about Ryan Johnson getting his own trilogy and how good that's going to make The Last Jedi because that is the best promotion for The Last Jedi is saying, dude, oh, they, we like his movie so much, we're giving him his own trilogy dude, after Disney this. Disney is king of hyping up their movies. That tells you everything Let's you talk about know. Embargo, Episode too, 8 like is so good. how Embargo affects fucking movies. Like how it did with Justice League. Yeah, because like you know a movie's flawed when they don't release Embargo of reviews till the night before the premiere. Yeah, but even if yeah. they didn't put in an embargo on it and like they released the reviews early, I still think it would have affected the box office just yeah, as much as it Yeah, it will still suck. Now. That's why they're like doing an embargo. Yeah, because I, I don't think the average per- viewer even knows about any of that That's stuff. That's why it goes to say they don't have balls. Marvel has balls. They will fucking release an embargo fucking a month before. The but because their movies, movies are great. Because, like, <laughs> diehard fans, like, w- even if it gets bad reviews, you know they'll still go see it. Yeah. But the general audience member, all they need to know is, like, oh, that, they said that movie's bad. Listen, nah, I'm not going to go waste my money yeah. and go see it. That you know? truly affected their it, it, For the record, we are not Marvel fanboys. We're not DC. We're f- a fan of pop Everything. culture. Everything. But it. if you had to label us, we're Star Wars fans. Yeah, Star Wars <laughs> fans. You never fail yeah. with Star Wars. Yeah. And um, yeah. uh, But I, do, I, I do even lo- think the prequels is okay. But it, well, in the comic. Comic book I world. still watch them. In the comic book great, world, I like I, I like DC comics a lot more. I do. I like those. I like their roster of characters a lot better than Marvel. Like, for me, all Marvel has for me is movies. Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Iron Man are okay. I like X-Men. X-Men. Well, no, yeah, yeah. X- well, those ones because I just I, like, I was associating I with the movies. You guys know I love Deadpool. I Deadpool like more Image Comics when I was growing up. Image Comics <laughs> is cool, man. Well, the Deadpool tra- the Deadpool too. trailer Dark was Horse just uh, released. That was really cool. Yeah, dude. It Bob looks like Ross, it looks man. like it's gonna be a fun movie, man. It looks like it it's does. gonna be. And it lo- I'm very excited with with the fact that it's a, a different director. Which one? Uh, Deadpool two. Oh. I feel like mm-hmm. the fact that it's a different director. It has new. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. Like the Alex Rod, uh, Bob, Bob Ross. Bob Ross freaking yeah. Yeah, thing. That was um, good. But it would look really cool. Domino looks really cool in it, man. I'm excited for Cable, dude. They're just they're just teasing him with his hand. They're not even showing him yet. Oh man, because those shots were so quick, I didn't mm. even like really remember a glimpse of Cable's hand. You just saw his hand going. What was that the, the taxi driver's name? Oh, oh n- uh, n- uh, n- Vidir no, Vidir no, like no, that. it's um Nihindu. No, uh, Mohinder. No, no. Yeah, yeah, Dopinder. 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 He's yeah, dope. dude, he's part of the cast. <laughs> dude, he's like spitting as he's walking and doing all that. That's that's cool, man. Yeah, dude, like. It's it's good, dude. It, it's uh, I'm excited for it. I mean, the and then you see um, uh, the teenage warhead. Oh yeah, Negasonic. Negasonic, yeah, Negasonic dude. What a dope fucking name, dude. Negasonic teenage warhead. You see what's hair? She's there. I, I, like I like her. So I like her. I like her. I like her. Different hair now, right? Yeah. yeah. She has a little bit more hair now. That's good, man. And then they got Colossus. In did it you, did they show Colossus in it? I no, don't remember seeing. No, but he's in the poster. Oh so yeah. I mean, he, you know he's in it, but. Yeah, they finally got <clears> Colossus right, man. The first Deadpool. <clears throat> That's as exciting. With this one, it's like, who's the villain? They still haven't released it. The, you know, early speculation, they think it's Mr. Sinister. Mr. That Sinister would be, would be cool. cool. That would be really cool. That is. What, what he's is Colossus that? looking. Too. Yeah, yeah. well, Colossus. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, you said he's Colossus looking? Yeah, the way he looks like yeah. he's like silver oh, yeah. or something like that. Like, or, I don't know. He has mm-hmm. a, like Colossus like metal like kind of like thing going on. Yeah. What um, I can remember from... Not yeah, sure. he was really good, man. Like and like, you could shoot him, and it was just like heal and stuff. Like I think he was created from Apocalypse. If I'm Damn, not mistaken. Yeah, but yeah. he was really cool, though. Well, either way, we're gonna be there opening night. Hell yeah, That's, yeah. hell yeah, we're man. Gonna be there. Deadpool There's no was such good. Thing as a really really bad movie. We'll still watch it. Yeah. yeah. If you make it, we'll watch but it. But the thing is, like <laughs> like Ryan Reynolds is one of the most perfect casting for superhero. Like like the way Gal. Is oh, for yeah. Wonder Woman. Oh, no, I feel like the white Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds Logan. Is, is totally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and Wolverine. Lo- yep, and Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. Like he looks dead on. Mm. Like it's perfect casting. So then l- let's uh, let's start let's start getting towards the end of our podcast and just talk about the year 2017 superhero movies in order of what you thought were the best. Okay. Um, we had Logan. Rogue one. Nah, superhero. Star Wars Rogue is one. completely. And different it was last category. year. Mm. Yeah. So we got we had Logan. We had Wonder Woman, we had Homecoming, we had Justice yeah. League. What else? What else did we have this year? What? 
What what other superhero movies did we have this year? Guardians of the Galaxy. A Guardians two. And well, Guardians is not really superhero. Well, it's a Marvel. I, I, I would because it's Marvel, so I, yeah, I consider it. I will, I will consider that. Um, I think oh, yeah, we're just passing around the bottle of whiskey. We're doing our uh, end podcast shot. Today is sponsored by Tiller Mardu. All right, then what, what was your favorite comic book movie of the year? Logan by far. Anton. Wonder Woman. But equally, I like Logan too. They're both equal in my scale. They're both a 10. Yeah. The only thing that makes Wonder Woman better is because it's Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. See, to me, it's Logan because I just identify with the story a little more. And to me, <clears throat> Logan is a film. It's yeah. a real film that happens to have a superhero in it. I'm, uh, I'm on your page, Dan. I'm, I'm going to have to go with Logan as my favorite uh, superhero How dare movie. you? No, because, well, first of all, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine has a lot of fucking history. It's yeah. like over 10 years he was playing he the Wolverine. Best. Over, X-Men. dude. He's been doing over, it for 17 years. He's, he's done 17, nine movies. Yeah, 17 years he's been Because it started 2000, right, was when the first one came out. And, he, yeah, fucking Da-da-da. 17 years. Oh, no, that's yeah, that was the animation. I love that cartoon. It's and, one of my favorite. and this was the perfect movie to end Wolverine. It did. And it wasn't. It didn't feel like a comic book movie. It just felt no. like a great See, fucking Logan film. is like. There's nothing I saw that was wrong with Logan. No, I'm, you know, th- could things been improved? Anything could be improved, yeah. and that's just opinion. I didn't see anything X23, wrong with yeah. it. Oh. X23 was fucking great. But it great. was just the execution. That's why. So of Wonder it. Woman. That's the reason why I say with that one is because with Wonder Woman. There was a couple, like, the villain could have been better. Like, there, there's things that could have been better. So that's why I say, well, it's Logan perfect. is just a better film. Yeah, I'm going to have... i biased. It's perfect. I'm going to yeah, have to fine. go... I'm going to go Logan, yeah. Wonder Woman... Yep. Um, Thor. Oh, yeah. Thor, Thor was... Thor was... Third. Thor was Thor, third. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man fourth. Um, Justice League Guardians. You like Justice League better than Guardians? Fuck yeah. I was so um, let down by Guardians 2. That was not a, it, for me that was just I just did not like it at I, all. Oh, man. I think it's too funny. It it's hard because um the characters in Justice League was better, but the the it's story, the CGI Guardians was made way better. Yeah. The quality of the movie is better. But I'm talking but about Justice my, I'm not I'm not talking about I'm just talking about personal favorites. I'm not yeah. talking oh, about Oh, favorites. Okay. <laughs> what is um, your favorite? You well, know, your I put Justice League. League. I put Justice League over Guardians 2. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Guardians, I watched it once and I didn't bother to watch it again. I watched it a second time; it was slightly better again, but just to think, I could great. watch over and over again. It has rewatchable. Quality yeah, to it, that's what it, it does is. have rewatchability. Yeah. Because yeah. all the scenes are good; it's just <clears throat> the editing. And I think a lot of it too is because um, it's like because you kind of want to love to be longer. We love time. Batman. We love Superman. So even though the movie's flawed, I want to watch Superman just kicking a dude's fucking. Well, we ass. didn't even we didn't even really we're gonna wrap it up, but we didn't even talk about how awesome Superman was at the final battle. We like, did. not we didn't get into too much. I thought like when he returns back to Steppenwolf and beats the shit out of him, like I had those chill inducing moments. Cold breath and stuff. Is this guy still giving you trouble? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That was like it was just so fun to see it. And then when he's standing over Steppenwolf, he's just pounding him into the he's ground so cocky, and laser eyes. I like, I I like, like hockey. I like hockey. I like hockey. I like cocky Superman. Superman. I don't like pussy Batman. No, well, see, no, no. I like cocky Batman. In humble Superman. See, well, humble Superman is when he needs to be humble and cocky. Yeah, I mean, like when you have boring. like a badass is like Steppenwolf trying to destroy the Earth. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with Superman being a little bit cocky because he can be. Cause I, against the big baddies, you got to get cocky, man. You got to get that swag. You got to get that super swag. So, other than the mustache, they got Henry Cavill really good in this. And I'm, I, I really, yeah. to end this, I, like I really him. hope that they actually do a Man of Steel. This is we're ending. Too. Are we ending already? How we long are, are ending. We how long? Like how long is this thing? Hold on. Because I, I still got something Here's... to say. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah. It's an hour and forty-five minutes. We're an hour and forty-five minutes. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, and so which already makes us the longest podcast yeah. we've ever had. So like we we can and we still have something to talk about. Okay, well, okay. you know what? Maybe we'll after we'll this. Maybe later. Podcast. Maybe later we can podcast about something different. Because I'm gonna be gone still next filming week. our you know our our set too. Yeah. And Not um. Today, but. Maybe, so, maybe. Uh, final thoughts. All right, final thoughts, man. You know what? Even though we were ripping on Justice League, we're, we're like. We're we're movie fans. We we decide to make our own minds by just go not listening to the critics and just going and making up your own opinion. So like I really hope a lot of people go see Justice League because there was a lot of good in it 
that's worth going out yeah. to the movies. It doesn't have to be your favorite movie. It doesn't have to be the best comic book movie. Just sit down, turn off your brain, and have fun with Justice League. Because you're going to have to because the story's not going to do it for you. Just have fun with the characters. That's what everybody loves. Everybody loves their favorite superhero characters and just seeing them kick some super butt. So um, if you guys are listening to us on SoundCloud or iTunes, don't forget to uh, hop on over to our YouTube channel and see some of our content. Because we are filmmakers. We're making our own films. And, and we do movie reviews and stuff like that. So come check us out give us a like comment or if there's anything that you want us to talk about you know a, a movie or if you have a short film and you want us to review it and maybe highlight it on the show just uh reach out to us on twitter we're at too high mcfly is that right guys yes. at too high mcfly twitter instagram and twitter instagram is uh too high mcfly, too high MCFly YouTube. yeah and uh you know just keep listening we love doing this and even you know We'll, we'll always be podcasting because we always have these conversations anyway. We get together weekly and just talk like this anyway. It's just a matter of hitting the record button on the recorder. And just and turning it on. Just, and this is just construction criticism. Construction criticism. Yeah, and, and that's what it is. It's separating the two because when we give it a score, and even we may give it like what some people consider a harsh score, right? A seven. We're separating um, us as the critic fan and us as a fanboy. That's yeah. why it, I don't consider us hypocrites by saying we want to keep watching a movie that we're ranking seven. Seven is still solid. And because you should you know be what? able to watch it yourself. And <laughs> yeah, do, we're fanboys uh, at the end of the day. We want to watch fun, stupid movies sometimes. That's right, because you just heard us rip on it, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a shot, and we're going to turn off the podcast, and we're probably going to go back and watch Justice League at the theater because exactly. I had fun. And make and your I'm, own decision. And I'm still going to fucking <laughs> cheer when I see Superman kicking fucking ass and say, Hell yeah! Yeah, man. My man! My and, man. Yeah, so, don't uh, let us tell you what to watch. Watch what you want to watch yeah. and enjoy it. Well, we, I will say... We will tell you sometimes to watch things. It's going to be our own stuff. I'm yeah. forcing you to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I'm to watch, it. So watch, watch our stuff. Watch watch, uh, let's raise our glasses. Control us if you need to. <laughs> and, no. hope, and hope that uh, hope comes back to DC. Yeah, starting with Aquaman. Oh, man. All right, Dan, turn it off. All right, guys. Turn it off. Turn it off. Uh, turn my it name off. is Kevin Lyons. I'm Daniel DeSangre. I'm Anton. And we are Too High McFly. We'll see you guys next time. Or he- you guys will hear us next time. Or see us, whatever. Or see us. Just don't touch us. Don't touch us. Bye. We smell.